All right, what's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim. Going to be cracking some cards on PTCGO today. And I just have like a ton, a ton of coats. I just bought three boxes of Celestial Storm. So I have like over 100 Celestial Storm codes that I'm going to be cracking here just to try and get stuff for the collection. I was just going to do this just because it like needs done. Uh, but then I was like, hey, why don't we just like stream and I haven't streamed in a while because there hasn't been any um, there hasn't been any new format stuff to do. Right. So like I haven't really had too much to do on PTCGO. So I really haven't been streaming all that much. But we're going to stream today. See if I can do some PTCGO here. See if I can get some packs opened and uh, see what we can get done here on this opening special shout out i got a huge donation from uh from a user on twitter so special shout out let me see who that was to tpk nova on twitter i really appreciate the donation to help me get my packs up and uh let's see am i live is this uh is this thing working here uh looks like we're just starting to get things rolling now but uh but yeah so gonna be cracking some packs here on ptcgo see what i can get i actually tried a test pack on ptcgo just to see if it would work because i thought the set didn't drop till tomorrow but it looks like things are working uh the first pack that i opened what's up how we doing uh the first pack that i opened actually was like a it was like a bogus pack i don't know it was like all the cards had like some sort of error on them and uh it, it didn't really work so then i had to like restart the system so i've actually opened two celestial storm packs off camera uh and in my first celestial storm pack i got a full art lycia but yeah i got a huge donation from twitter uh tpk nova so special shout out to tpk nova also special shout out to full grip games which i'm rocking their tea right now local card shop here in akron uh sean Lydon donated me a bunch of codes for this opening as well what's up guys how we doing what's up what's up uh so that was pretty cool as well and i got quite a bit of stuff here so we're going to see how it goes and just get this stuff open because to be honest uh it, it's a lot like i it might be like too much to open in one sitting i don't know it, it's a lot it's really kind of overwhelming so what's up guys let's see where did my where did my celestial there we go 127 celestial storm packs gonna see what we can do here what's up genji i'm doing well doing real well uh happy to be back here on stream there hasn't really been anything to stream on ptcgo lately since uh we got a shift tree gx that's pretty sweet nice little addition there i got a shift tree gx in real life as well in one of my boxes I actually got two shift tree gx yeah so we're gonna try and rip some rays here i bought three boxes from full grip games just to get codes right uh, because getting codes is actually kind of the hardest part about like getting your online collection up. So I didn't really feel like going and buying codes at like 70 cents, right? Like I need the codes now. Uh, I actually am like not, uh, me and Dariums are cool. Like I love Dariums very much and we're cool, but we're not actually like working together anymore. We kind of are like doing our own separate things. I might still be featured on their channel from time to time kevin gow i see you uh i see you asking there uh they're selling them for 70 cents a piece and i didn't really feel like buying them right so i felt like i would have rather just bought boxes so that i could get the cards because i needed the cards in real life and i needed the cards on ptcgo so i bought three boxes from full grips and i actually did buy six rayquaza gx from dariums so I like uh, walked on over to Dariums, bought six Rayquaza GX and two Latias Prism Star because I saw that they did their thousand pack opening. So I was like really hype on that because they got all their Rayquazas and all that stuff. So I was able to kind of just roll over there, pick up all the Rayquaza GXs that I needed. And then I bought three boxes and it was fun to just kind of open boxes again. It's been a while since I've opened boxes because I mean for a while there uh, when I was working on 
uh, when I was working on Deeriums, they would kind of just like throw me codes and throw me cards for free. So like that was super cool. But they, you know, things are kind of changing around there at Deeriums right now. Uh, why haven't they uploaded the thousand packs yet? I don't know. I mean, to be honest, I haven't been. Uh, no, Uni Booney, I don't uh, actually. So they couldn't really, uh, just like a lot of kind of, you know, complicated kind of inner workings there. Uh, we are on good terms. Like me and Dariums are doing great. And I just saw Aaron just the other day. I bought like six Rayquaza GX off, off of him. But I, uh, you know, we're just not working together anymore. He couldn't really afford to pay me to work on the videos. So it's like, hey, we got a Scizor GX. So that's awesome. Nice. I got a full art Scizor GX in one of my boxes as well. If you guys saw that on Twitter, I did post my polls there on Twitter at enjoyfriend, E-N-J-O-Y friend. But yeah, he couldn't really afford to like keep me on as far as like to pay me to be on the channel there. And so like I'm just doing work full time on this channel here and this channel is funded completely by the Patreon and by like the ad revenue from this channel. So that way it's like, you know, he just uh, is kind of like switching up the business model a little bit. And it's like, you know, if he ever has work for me again, then I will be back and, you know, happy to work as well. But also I just can't really afford the time to work on two YouTube channels right now is the thing because I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna be teaching again in the fall. So I'm gonna be uh, you know, teaching from like 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. like every day. And then I also am going back to graduate school as well. So I'm gonna be very busy and I don't really have time to work on two YouTube channels, uh, but working on one YouTube channel is great. And if I had to pick to work on either the Darium's main channel or on Tricky Gym, I was going to choose to work on Tricky Gym because this is kind of like uh, my passion here. This is my own personal channel. You know, I have like the home studio here that I spent, you know, a lot of time investing into. And like I said, Darian and I are still cool. I just don't get cards for free anymore. So now it's a uh, it's, you know, a thing where we got to we got to buy codes and do all that. So I'm back on the grind. We got a Bennett GX. That's pretty awesome there. Beautiful looking card here. I actually did not get a, uh, a Bennett GX uh, in real life. I opened three boxes and did not get one. This is a huge set. That's awesome, Mystic64. That's awesome. Congrats. It's a beautiful card. Super, super sick there. And uh, let's see. Celestial Storm is out in uh, card shops. So like, if you go to a card shop that held a pre-release, they, they could start selling the cards on Monday. I also see a question here. Um, you make a post format rotation deck list. I actually, my two videos that were uploaded the last two days were both post rotation deck lists. So if you check out just my main feed there, you can see those. And you can check out the deck list for Rayquaza GX and also Malamar Ultra Necrozma that I'm working with post rotation now. I am still preparing for the World Championships, so I'm doing a lot of testing in the current standard format. And as you guys can understand, that's just like kind of my priority number one right now because I really want to do as well as I can at the World Championships. So I need to spend a lot of my time and energy kind of investing in. Hey, we got another full art Lycia. That's awesome, man. I actually pulled two of these in real life as well. I sold one on eBay right away for like 20 bucks. So that was pretty awesome. But now I've pulled two in real life. I've pulled two on PTCGO. So that's pretty rad, man. This is a beautiful full art supporter. Definitely gonna try and get one of these for my collection. Uh, even though I think I've sold both both of mine so far, and you know maybe we'll get it graded or something like that. So, gonna be working towards you know, picking out cards out of the set maybe that I want to get graded. I have a little stack put away of things that I'm looking to send into PSA again. I actually 
did a uh, a PSA reveal. I don't know if any of you guys saw. Uh, ooh, we got a Jirachi Prism Star as well. Actually, such a cool little ability, right? Gives you a chance to get an extra prize. The odds of prizing your one of Jirachi Prism Star are, I, I agree with you, William James, not going to lie. It's, uh, you, know, <laughs> uh, you know I agree with you. But uh, the odds of prizing your you know, you're one of Jirachi Prism Star are not all that high. So unfortunately, it's probably, ooh, we got a Lottie Os Prism Star. I actually opened two of these in the three boxes that I opened. This is the wrong one, as I call him. But hey, you never know. Maybe there is going to be a Dragon deck in the future that could really use this Dragon Fleet attack. Just no real deck that can use it right now. Yeah, Natalie, is, uh, she's at work, so she ain't around right now. Just me hanging out. I actually only have like, ooh, we got an Alolan Raticate GX. Check that out. He's got free attacks. And this is something that we see a lot of times on Alolan Pokemon is that they get these free attacks. And uh, Raticate especially has had lots of free attacks so far. So pretty neat. Uh, I'm not going to write the card off completely. I think the card could be good one day, potentially. What's up, Otto? Adivan in the chat. Many of you may remember Otto from being featured on the channel. Uh, the the Solgaleo expert, also the uh, what the Glaceon expert, uh, had a great run at regionals this year. So Otto's hanging out in the chat with us. Welcome, Otto. And Otto, you best be coming over to test this weekend. We are going to be grinding out testing for the World Championships this weekend, just sitting down and making sure that we really, really focus. I feel like a lot of times when me uh, me and the friends get together to test for Worlds, a lot of times we just end up doing other things. We might end up uh, going out to the local Mexican restaurant, getting some tacos, and then you know we come back and we hang out, we start playing board games and then uh and then you know one thing leads to another and we never really end up testing maybe we'll do like a cube draft or something like that but uh oh Otto says he can't what is he busy he busy Otto man I'm getting like a lot of metachams and not a lot of anything else so that's uh I don't know a lot of metachams here let's see not what I want Nice, Mystic64 got a Rayquaza online. Pretty dope. I'm still uh, still waiting on my first Rick. Ooh, we got an Underground Expedition. Check that out. Full art card. I actually got in my three boxes, I got a full art Underground Expedition. I also got a full art Lycia, so that was pretty sweet. But Underground Expedition, definitely dig that full art there. Definitely a sweet, sweet looking card alex darnell of course man that's awesome uh yeah alex you uh you bought that off of me so that was awesome glad you got it glad you enjoyed it that is a dope dope card man the shining gyarados had a japanese shining gyarados that i got psa graded mccargo we got our first mccargo so that is pretty sweet as well and we are opening like over Three, uh, over three, three boxes worth of Celestial Storm. Oh, I didn't even know that this was here. This is awesome. This is a Steelix with the artwork from the original Neo era here. It's definitely kind of a throwback artwork there. There's a lot of artwork in this set that is throwback to the Neo era, to uh, kind of those early 2003, 2004 sets, 2002, earlier, 2001. Uh, it's kind of from all over the place, so that's pretty sweet, and it has been pretty cool to kind of have a little nostalgia trip here and kind of get to see some older artworks there. The Macargo, hey, hey, yes, we've got our first Rayquaza GX, beautiful, beautiful there, awesome stuff, and the regular art too. I really, I would, I would prefer to get four Rayquaza GX all in the same artwork. That would be awesome. But hey, you never really know what you're going to end up getting here on PTCGO. And maybe I can trade down. Um, that's awesome, man. So that is pretty dope. We're going to see if we can pull a couple more. Uh, let's see. Jay Mullen says, thanks to you. I've spent so much money 
Uh, building base set decks. Yes, it is quite the... Uh, oh my gosh, no way! Oh, we got another one. Yes! All right, so we're like not even halfway through and we got two Rayquaza GX so far. That's amazing. And Uni Booney, thank you for the donation. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to try and grind this channel so I can get it to 100k subs. That would be my dream. It's really tough to kind of grow the channel. This is like a niche channel right i mean this is like a channel for for you guys the pokemon trading card community right the competitive pokemon trading card community this is not a you know my videos are probably never going to go viral i know that right i'm opening pokemon cards talking about competitive pokemon there are thousands and thousands of people that are into competitive Pokemon, but you know, on any given video, I'm probably not going to get over like 20,000 views. So it's hard to get over like, you know, 20, 40,000 subscribers. And you see that with a lot of the other Poketubers, just because our community is not like, you know, Fortnite, where it's like uh, absolutely gigantic or anything like that. It's not like League of Legends, where there's just like hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people who play. Uh, competitive Pokemon cards is a little bit more of a niche, but I love this community. I love this game. So I'm going to keep grinding out the channel as much as I can, really pouring my heart into it. And that's one of the reasons why I kind of had to, you know, stop working for Dariums is just so I can invest more time into this. Mr. Mime GX, pretty sweet there with that magic evens ability. I heard a lot of people saying that they were doing awesome things here uh with the mr mime in pre-releases right because it could wall off swamper perfectly so like that was pretty cool i like swamper a lot as a card but i think that oh brian's uh brian scarada i'm sorry if i messed up your name brian that last name scarada but uh thank you for the donation brian appreciate it open three regular art rayquaza uh at two pre-releases that is amazing wow what are the odds uh, I had to buy mine straight up from Darium, so that was awesome. Thank you, Tricky, for the sub, by the way. And thank you, Brian, for the donation. Uh, Brian, definitely been a supporter of the channel for a long time, so really, really appreciate the continued support, Brian. Really appreciate it. Latios, Prism Star again, but where is my Latias? I need one of those so that I can start playing my Ray deck here on PTCGO. And I've got, like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of codes here this is like a ton actually you know we're gonna see how many of these that i can open in one sitting and then i might start to get like carpet tunnel because like honestly it is uh it's like a lot like we have probably like 500 codes or something and just like 500 packs be here all day uni boney with another super chat thank you you should do some vlogs and get your subs there uh, I appreciate that. Yes. So the vlogs are a big thing. I'm going to start doing more vlogs. Uh, actually, I'm starting to work a little bit um, with vlogging at Full Grip Games. They got like weekly league and stuff. They throw some awesome tournaments. So it's a great place for me to vlog. And then also I'm going to be back on my vlog grind with the regional championships this year. I know vlogs are usually pretty popular. So going to be doing more of those i do have my my vlog camera here so i'm all set and ready for that and it should be good so gonna work on the vlogging as well like i want to make sure that the quality is up there a lot of times i feel like you know sometimes the vlogs can be a little scrappy but i want to make sure that i'm really putting my best foot forward and producing the best vlog content for you guys possible right so Oh, Dan, no, your pre-releases ran out of boxes. That's so sad. I've never really heard of that happening there. Otto says, Andrew, how do you feel about winning the green versus gold event poll? Uh, so Otto there is referencing this. Uh, is it a, what regional is it going to be at? Uh, I also saw that there was a question for first year teacher. So I saw that question for the first year teacher. I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, uh, I'm going to respond to that as well. Thank you, Scruffy, uh, the little slugger, uh, asking what I teach. Thank you for the super chat. I teach special education, so I'm going to graduate school for my special education degree, and I am also, uh, I am also teaching currently. So I teach special education right now, and I work 
at a city school in Akron, and it's a kind of it's a behavior school. It's a non-public school, so kids who get in trouble and maybe get expelled or might get in trouble with the law and are coming out of juvenile detention will usually come to my school. And we work on like study skills, we work on work skills, life skills, all sorts of different kinds of just you know, special education, real life skills that, you know, these kids can use to get by. And we work on our social skills as well. And just like, you know, uh, how to, how to kind of get by and be successful out there in the real world. So do a lot of that. It's a lot of fun. It's very rewarding. So definitely, definitely love that job and love teaching. Uh, as far as an auto, I'm going to get back to you as well. But as far as first year teachers, so I had a question about that. My advice to first year teachers would be to just, you know, be yourself. The kids are going to respond to uh, you just being a, ooh, stack attack at GX, my first one. That's awesome. Got that ultra wall ability there. Sweet, sweet stuff. I need a couple more rays though. Got 50 more packs. But just be yourself, uh, you know, plan ahead, plan your lessons out so that you have something to work with. Another Scizor GX as well. I know a lot of my. Uh, a lot of my viewers here have been talking about Scizor GX and whether or not it's going to be good. That will be determined. We'll have to see. I'm not exactly sure where that card would fit into the metagame right now, but we'll see. Maybe some support comes out for metal types and we see an increase in play there. And another Mr. Mime GX. That's my second one. But, you know, you plan your lessons. You be yourself. Meet the kids where they are so that you know you're not you know if they need help with you know with something that you didn't plan for in your lesson just be flexible you know you never know what the day is going to bring you're going to plan your lessons right but then sometimes you just get thrown a curveball and then you need to respond to that so make sure you're being flexible just be personable uh and be honest with the kids and you know make sure that you're also remain uh, remaining professional at all times. Another Mr. Mime GX. That's insane. We got a beautiful full art there, and uh, and you should be successful. So you know, I think uh, you know teaching is very rewarding. Uh, definitely can get uh, a little grindy sometimes when you're in the middle of the school year, but definitely a rewarding profession, and I definitely definitely love it. Blaziken GX as well. I think this card could be super cool once that fire starter Blaziken comes out. That would be. Uh, that would be awesome. Let's see. We got a lot going on in the chat. Thank you guys for showing up and hanging out while I try to get my account right here uh, for, you know, for the upcoming format. And we're going to see all these things, you know, see what we can pull. An Electro GX. I actually pulled an Electro GX in my three booster box too. And Electrode is Natalie's favorite Pokemon. And Andrew Dankus is in the chat. What's up, Dankus? Uh, Electro GX Electrode is Natalie's favorite Pokemon. She's got a lot of Electrodes in the collection there. So we gave that Electrode that I pulled to Natalie, and she very much appreciates that. Uh, what's the best site to buy booster boxes? The best I've seen is $84.99 with free shipping. William James, that is a great price. Honestly, you're pretty much not going to beat that. So, you know, just uh, that, I mean... You got to figure people get them from distributors at like 80 at like $75 ish, $76 ish. So like people cannot sell them for less than that. You know what I mean? Like or else they're losing losing money. So you got to kind of respect the card shops a little bit and the fact that unless you got a deal coming straight from the distributor you know, you're going to be paying over $80 for a booster box. And you're lucky if you find it in $80 because $85 uh, with free shipping means that they aren't making like any money off of that, right? They're just like probably hoping that you buy other stuff and, uh, you know, while you're there in their shop. So that's uh, it's definitely you know, definitely a thing. Yeah, if you find a box for 85 bucks, just take it. My third Ray, yes, that's awesome. Sick, so we've got three Rayquaza GX, all regular art, awesome, awesome stuff. What's the best place to sell your cards? I do like eBay as a place to sell cards. I've had a lot of successful transactions on eBay, uh, but however, eBay does take 10%. So like they take a big chunk and then like PayPal sometimes takes their uh, their chunk too. 
So what I've heard is, all right, so like I heard, I saw someone else saying that there's uh, 84.99 boxes on Amazon as well. Uh, I've heard that they're like, you know, from Blaziken GX, kind of heard from being around the scene that there might be somebody who has a distributor's license who is just selling them, you know, selling boxes just straight to customers on things like eBay and also on Amazon. So that's like, it's not legal, right? Like that's not, that's not it's not good. Uh, you're not supposed to be doing that. But otherwise, like card shops can't compete with those prices, right? So if there's someone out there who has a distributor's license who is kind of finessing the system and selling their boxes on Amazon or eBay, uh, it's uh, that's kind of what's going on. So that's kind of how those that's how those prices get that low. Uh, at least that's what a lot of people suspect. And I've heard that from kind of multiple sources within the community. So it's a little bit uh, unfortunate. Great for players. They get to get cheap boxes. But then like also not great for card shops who need to try to compete with these prices, right, that they find uh, online. Jacob asks, if I could have any card in Gem Mint 10, Oh, yeah, we've got a full art copycat. That is awesome, man. That is a beautiful card there on PTCGO. Sweet stuff. Love that. Copycat is sure to be a great card in this upcoming format. Awesome how you got, like, I don't know, who is this dude here with, like, the bald cap on? I don't know. We got a Pikachu fan also. So uh, Team Rocket person there in the back. So, like, that is pretty cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome card. So, uh, let's see, Andrew, you want your final Ray GX, Ray Ray GX, you can give me 10 packs of Celestial Storm and you get it. That's pretty cool. Okay, so like, check this out. Let's see, I have 28 packs left, right? Let's see, let's wander over to the trade section. You guys ever do this? Let's wander, oh, it's Blaine. Thank you, Piper, for answering my question. Let's wander over here and let's see what Rayquaza GX is going for. Uh, now, this cards have been open for like, 40 minutes right so like there's really none uh here uh so does blaine man people are saying man i should have known it was blaine how do y'all know it was blaine i had no idea it was blaine but i guess you know he's got the little glasses he's got the bald head so let's see a rayquaza gx uh could not return any did i spell it wrong rayquaza gx let's try that again ray can we just search ray and i say cards I am getting, I am getting, apply, I'm getting a Ray. All right, Rayquaza EX, but is there any Rayquaza, is there any Rayquaza GX, right? Any Rayquaza GX, that's what I'm looking for. Probably not, no. Okay, so it's saying like they're, they're not even like up yet. It's not, uh, maybe you can't trade them yet. So we're gonna go back to cracking packs. I wanted to see if like maybe there was any, oh, Hey, look at that. So, the cheapest Rayquaza GX is uh, 25 packs. All right. So, I could trade. I don't know. Let me know in the chat. Should I trade 25 packs for uh, a final Rayquaza GX or should I crack them? Should I crack them? Let's see. Ooh, we got one for 20 packs. Uh, I could do 20 packs, pretty good. Should I trade or not trade? Let me know in the chat. Should I trade or not trade? Should we open our final 28 packs? <laughs> Don't do the trade. <laughs> uh, keep opening them for people. I have like 300. Mystic has offered me 10 packs, you're right. All right, all right, Mystic's offered me 10 packs. That's that's much better trade than this. I know, but I could do it right now. I mean, that would just be so quick. All right, we're getting a resounding no. All right, so we're not going to do that. We're going to go back. Uh, we're going to go back, and uh, we're going to go back and open. All right, we're going to continue opening. Here we go. Back to the grind, guys. And check out all these cool packs that I got. Some of you guys might not have seen this. I've got some Plasma Blast on here. I've got a Plasma Freeze, some Plasma Storm. I've got like 47 Shining Legends. Uh, I've got five Build and Battle kits all right and here's my 28 celestial storm all right we're gonna keep rocking we are gonna get our fourth ray i am like i ain't even scared I ain't even scared we're gonna get it and it's gonna be fantastic you guys were right you guys were right so no trade we're just gonna stone cold just open them mr mime rainbow rare almost we almost got it we got a mr rhyme rainbow rare instead i think this is my fourth mr mime though so we're like hot on the mr mimes right now but i also have pulled like 
no bonnets. Like even in real life, I pulled one bonnet on PTCGO. I pulled zero bonnets in my three boxes, and they're just uh, you know just, just evading me. I just I pulled a million of this guy. I have ten so far, but I have not opened like any bonnet GX. I know, I know, Otto. I know, I I know, but it's uh it's fine. I've got a lot of Mr. Mimes. Also, the Sceptile, he like seems cool, right? But like, I think preventing damage from Ultra Beast just seems like a little bit too situational, in my opinion. Like, it might just be, you know, not for stage two, right? Obviously, if it's like a stage one, that makes it like a lot more, uh, you know, makes it a lot more feasible. Got another acro bike there, awesome. Ah, oh, I thought that that was a Rayquaza. It was kind of green, I like, I felt like it was a, was a Ray, wasn't a Ray. All right, it's our second shiftery, that's fine. We're gonna keep cracking here. Let's see, how many, yeah, I have, I opened two Rayquazas in my six boxes IRL, but then I bought six off of Dariums, so. I have eight between Natalie and I, so we are at the eight rays that we need, and I'm feeling pretty good. In the three boxes, I got like almost everything else that I wanted, but I only opened one Shrine of Memories, dude. I had like another Scizor GX, sick. Um, got 18 packs, 19 packs left. But I can't believe I only got one Shrine of Punishment. Like what? That's insane. A Palos, I was wondering when I was gonna open Palosan GX. I like wish he was a little bit better. I really love Palosan as a Pokemon. He's so cool. Like he's got a shovel sticking out of the top of him. Like what is not amazing about that? I mean, this thing, Sandcastle Pokemon, it's gotta be like the coolest Pokemon ever. It's got actually, I can't remember what his attacks do. So he's like, your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused for three energy on a stage one. Eh, absorb life, heal 20 damage from this Pokemon. Eh, it does for four, you know, and Sandy Fear GX. All right, 60 times. Look at the top 13 cards of your opponent's decks and discard any number of Pokemon you find there. This attack does 60 damage for each card you discard in this way. Your opponent shuffles the other cards back into the deck. That's kind of like a crazy GX attack. Unfortunately, I think the card is maybe just like a little bit uh, gimmicky, but it is definitely really, really cool. I wish there was a full art Palo Sand or a secret rare. Palo Sand. Oh, Josh hates sand. Josh, don't don't be mean to Palo Sand, all right? I understand that you have a thing against sand, okay? Maybe it's grainy or makes you, you know, you know, gets in your shoes. I understand that. I have a lot of sand in my car still because I visited the beach. But don't hate on Palo Sand, man. He is awesome. Scizor GX. Now imagine if we <laughs> it's course and gets everywhere. Uh, it's very funny, Josh. Uh, imagine if I had opened as many rays. Uh, if I, as I had Scizor GXs, that is, uh, oh, okay, is this a meme that I don't get? Oh, okay. Oh, hating sand is a star, thank you guys. Okay, so see, this is, I'm, you know, I'm too old to know all this. So usually Natalie can keep me up to date with like popular internet memes, but unfortunately I don't think Natalie knows anything about Star Wars either. I think I've seen much more Oh my gosh, check this guy out. We got Apricorn Maker. He's got a little uh, got a little dude there next to him. What is, dude, Sunkern? It's Sunkern. I was going to feel really embarrassed if I did That's Sunkern. He's got a little Sunkern there next to him. Search your deck for two item cards that have the word ball in their name. Reveal them, put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Very cool. Beautiful artwork there. Definitely love that. He looks very wise and cool, so awesome. <laughs> yes, I did get rays. I've got three rays. Three ray rays, let's go. On to the fourth, come on, we need a fourth ray. We've got 12 packs. And it's uh, it's all good. I saw, I didn't see the newest Star Wars yet, uh, whatever with, uh, you know, who's the guy, what is it? Um, what's the name of the newest Star Wars? I forget. Another Scizor, ah, uh, that's insane. I didn't see the one, it's got, uh, it's got a what are the childish Donald Donald Glover is like an actor in it. I didn't I didn't see that one yet, but I did see the other newest one and I thought it was pretty good. I really liked it. So I don't I'm not like huge into Star Wars. Uh, Han Solo, yes, I didn't see. Is that the net Solo? Right, yes, I didn't see Solo. I saw the other one though, and I thought the other one was very good. And even though I haven't really been keeping up with Star Wars lately. 
I saw the you know original ones when I was a kid. They were very popular when I was growing up. So, so let's see what uh what all we got uh, questions. What doesn't look so good for post rotation? We talk about Ray post rotation. Mr. Mime GX. That is uh, like my fifth or sixth or seventh Mr. Mime. Dude, I have opened an unreal amount of uh, of Mr. Mimes. I've opened an unreal amount of those. Deoxys also. I have opened like so many of those. It is insane. Oh, I I am the meme. Am I a meme? I saw somebody in uh, on a Facebook group the other day made a... Uh, what, AVDGM or whatever, I forget what his username is, but he made a video with me introducing like the band cards and then like made it into like a an Archie's Blastoise meme. I thought that was very fun, very funny. Uh, also, Otto, Otto is telling me about the, uh, the green and gold event. So thank you to everybody who has voted for me in the green and gold event. I really, really appreciate that. It's a very kind uh, gesture. Otto mentioned here in the chat that I uh, I know, right? Otto, his stuff's awesome. But he mentioned that I got voted into this event. So like that was super cool because it was like an event you had to be nominated for. It is a, um, it's to benefit uh, cancer research. So it's a charity event uh, for cancer research. So like that was super cool and it's a great cause. And I, you know, I personally uh, have a lot kind of, um, you know, a lot invested into that cause as well, just to have had, uh, you know, my good friend, uh, Nick Bailey died from cancer. And, you know, also just my grandparents have had cancer. And my mom has had skin cancer. I mean, there's a lot of, you know, everybody kind of has their own, their own stories about people that they know, uh, who've been affected by cancer. So it's great cause, really great uh, thing, I think that they're doing at the Memphis Regional Championship, they're doing like 16 players, uh, you know, got voted in or whatever. So I didn't really advertise that I like necessarily like uh, you know was interested in the event, but I got nominated somehow, and now apparently I'm at like the top of the voting. So I'm gonna be participating. I'm really excited about it, uh, and it should be a lot of fun. I think it you know a lot of fun, great cause, and I'm just like you know I'm really happy to be part of something meaningful there, and you know like that uh, like that charity tournament. So. Really, really cool. I didn't even know what it was when I got uh, when I got nominated. So like I was really excited just to hear about it and to see that it was a thing. So thank you, Brian. I really, I really appreciate. I really appreciate the the vote and the support. All right, up next, let's open some fun packs. We've got some. Uh, uh, yes, William, I I agree. Yes. Um, so let's open some fun packs here. Uh, I've got some plasma storm stuff, some plasma freeze. I also have, ooh, let's go spend my 1900 coins. Yeah, let's go do that. So let's go shopping. Uh, let's go shopping for some, and you guys tell me, what should I buy here? Okay, should I buy, they don't have, they don't have celestial storm up yet, so I can't choose that. But let's choose something old and cool, right? Should I buy more plasma storm, more boundaries cross? Should I buy, uh, Call of Legends, Unleashed, uh, you know, Heart Gold, Soul Silver. Uh, what should I buy with my 1900? Uh, yes, hi there. I did get my uh, Rayquaza Gold Star. Uh, yes, I did get my Rayquaza Gold Star for the uh, for the Zapdos deck. Yes, I did. Uh, Heart Gold, Soul Silver. We're getting Heart Gold, Soul Silver. A lot of Heart Gold, Soul Silver. All right, let's do a couple of Heart Gold, Soul Silver. Uh, so we'll get like three of those. And then I'm also getting some requests for, sorry, Janet, I'm not buying Crimson Invasion. We got to do something old and cool. Uh, let's see. We're also Call of Legends. Again, a couple of requests for Call of Legends. All right, let's do a couple Call of Legends here. And let's see. I still got 900 coins I can spend. All right. We could do Triumphant. All right, sure. We'll get one Triumphant. And then... We'll also do what plasma was it plasma freeze got the secret rare ultra balls in it is that what it is? So we could do plasma freeze seems kind of cool, and that would be that'd be a lot of fun. We'll do one triumphant. We'll get one triumphant in there, and then we will also do uh, let's see let's just do another. Uh, we got two left. I kind of want that. I kind of want that that secret rare you know, ultra ball. So let's do like two plasma freeze. And we're gonna do that, and let's go crack them. All right, so let's go. 
we're gonna roll back on over to the collection here see what we can get and I, I'm always gonna be buying these old packs here that are in the so long as they have them in the shop I'm gonna do them. all right let's open some heart gold soul silver soul silver but I have my three Rayquaza GX we got out of the Celestial Storm stuff. So that's pretty cool. Definitely a great start there to my decks. Got a Feraligator there as our rare card in that first pack. And also Ledian. I think Ledian is a very, very cool Pokemon. I think this card is hilarious. Look, he's a little clay dude standing in like some fake grass or something. Very funny. On to the next one. Now the heart gold soul silver energies are worth like a lot of money. Somebody in the chat tell me got a ponce there. Professor Oak's new theory, pretty much the same thing as Cynthia. Very cool. Someone tell me like what are they worth? Like what's the most expensive heart gold soul silver energy? I know like the uh, is it the the hollow ones right? The hollow ones is there are certain hollow ones that are worth more. Then other ones, we've got a Noctowl here. Once during your turn before you uh, attack, you may draw a card. And it's very cool, very nice ability there. Also got Fisherman, another Pont. Very, very neat. And that's it for the Heart Gold Soul Silver. Let's open the Triumphant now. Is it uh, Triumphant? What What about Triumphant? Is it Trump Triumphant that has the... Which set has the energy in it? Is that Heart Gold Soul Silver? But... Some of them were worth like 10 bucks a piece. We got a Twins there. That's awesome. Twins, such a cool card. Definitely great for setup decks in that era. And it's just, oh my gosh, we got a Yan Mega Prime. Check that out. This is like a huge card from the era. It was useful in a lot of these older decks. Awesome stuff there. Great stuff. Oh, are they from Call of Legends? Okay, so like that is, uh, that's the answer I was looking for. Beautiful here. The holographic actually turned out like gorgeous here on the digital version of this card that looks excellent we'll see i mean beautiful pull right that's amazing so i'm gonna open another one. Oh, i need a drink uh, monster energy you should uh you know you should sponsor me and throw me free monsters or something i'll wear a hat we can make a deal i'll wear a hat you give me monsters that'd be great right i like spend way too much money on energy drinks Okay, up to Call of Legends. See what we can get out of these Call of Legend packs. I think, is this where the energy is? Call of Legends? I don't know. That's what somebody said. See, ooh, that's beautiful right there. Metal energy. Awesome. And is that reverse? Is that our, that is reverse. We got a reverse metal. That looks fantastic there. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's like a $10 card in real life. So, awesome stuff. Let's see, what else do we got here? We got a holographic metal energy. Unfortunately, I can't trade it, but those are super, super sweet. And, ooh, we got another copycat. That's legal. That's awesome. I can play this thing. It's back, so I can play that copycat. That's amazing. And it's super cool, actually, how they have, like, the copycats kind of always had these people in the background. So apparently, you know, I had a little Team Rocket grunt there in the background as well, and a swimmer, and was that Professor Elm or something? So very, very cool there on the copycat art. What do we got? We've got another Mr. Mime. This is like the Mr. Mime opening, apparently. I have opened just mad Mr. Mimes here. We also got some Plasma Storm. Let's, also, let's open some Plasma Storm and see what we can get out of the Plasma sets. Going to open Plasma Storm, and I'm also going to open those Plasma Freeze packs. And hopefully we... I mean, Gold Ultra Ball, like, is the dream. I don't have any gold ultra balls at all i don't have any from sun and moon double lombre and a low tad <laughs> busted opening there very very cool oh my gosh we got a dowsing machine that's amazing that's actually like a sick pull like these cards are really really hard to get right now and that's out of a pack so like that's tradable so i can trade that uh that is amazing this is super, super value here. These cards are really, really hard to get uh, for expanded format. Uh, that is amazing. Dowsing Machine is like one of the two best A specs. You know, it's computer search and Dowsing Machine are really like the number uh, one and number two there. So that is, uh, <laughs> that is awesome. Right. I know, Natalie. I'm trying here. You know, Monster Energy Drink. Maybe there's a uh, maybe there's someone out there who works for Monster, who can uh, who can help a brother out. But that dowsing machine rip, insane. Watchhog, 
Talk about ugly Pokemon, dude. I am, like, not into Watch Hog. Y'all tell me your opinions on Watch Hog. Because, like, I, you know, I don't want to be a hater or anything. But he looks like he's wearing, like, a construction vest, okay? Like, why is Watch Hog wearing a construction vest here? I'm just, like, not super into him. I don't know. So, I don't know about Watch Hog. Super skeptical of Watch Hog. I don't know. You know, and then look at him here. Look at this dude. What a weird dude, man. What a weird dude. I don't know. He looks like... Why is he wearing a construction vest? Who's favorite? Does anyone have their favorite Pokemon as being Watch Hog? Like, I, I severely, severely doubt it. Just like Bruxish. Bruxish, I mean, obviously, like, Bruxish takes the cake as being, like, like the worst Pokemon. But if you had to list, like, the five worst Pokemon, probably is, like, Bruxish. Oh, wow, Jacob. You're really, <laughs> really calling Natalie out. Natalie's job is not very demanding. So she works at a desk and she waits for people to come in. So she could definitely mod the chat in her free time. Uh, she's not busy, right? <laughs> she's never busy, especially in the summer. Like in the school year, things pick up a little bit. But she works at a school, like a college library. So she doesn't really have a whole lot of responsibilities. I feel like Broxish is like the worst Pokemon. We got a Dawn fan, Natalie. Check him out. Wow, I apparently have 11 Don fans though, so like that's not super exciting. But Natalie loves Don fan. She loves the Don fan deck and all things Don fan. Don't like Bruxish. And then uh, who is that? Barbarackle. Barbarackle's so ugly. And then I feel like Watch Hog's probably there in like the bottom few as well. Like I don't know, like just not super, not super into Watch Hog, man. Really not feeling it. <laughs> Dankus played ping pong for two hours at work. Why is my account being logged in from another device? Is somebody trying to mess with me here? Who did that? Did someone hack my account? No, bad, 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 bad. Somebody out there hacking me? Hmm, this is not good. This is very, very not good. Might have to change our password here momentarily. Somebody just kicked me off. What in the world is going on here? Man, we've gotten too big. We're getting hacked. This is bad. Real, real bad, guys. So uh, hopefully I don't keep getting booted here. Or we're going to have to figure this out. Uh, Natalie, is this you logging into my account? Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Hopefully it's not one of my friends just, like, trolling me who, like, you know, uh, thinks they know my password and stuff. So, no. Yes, people should, uh, people should definitely stop that. But maybe it's just that things are lagging. I had some people say in the chat that their PTC Geo was lagging right now. Could also just be having some sort of technical difficulties because of the new set. So maybe some things are just like being grinded out there. So I don't know. Yep. But it sounds like it's time to. Uh, yeah, we're gonna just gonna just gonna snap. Just change the password just as soon as this stream is over. Just because. Uh, yeah, that is. Uh, that's a little weird. So. Yup. Hopefully it's a friend and not someone to trade over <laughs> your rare cards. Right. I know, right? But I don't I don't really have anybody who knows the password to my account. I think it is like literally only Natalie, I think. I think like Natalie knows the password and that's it. I mean, because you're not supposed to like let other people play uh, on your account. I think it's actually against the terms of services. And I know a bunch of people who do share accounts. Looks like we did not get that secret rare ultra bar ultra bar ultra ball bummer but we're gonna keep trying for a secret rare ultra ball here on the sun and moon base set see if we can do it uh what is ligma what is my account has ligma what is it what does that mean double doubler the double double colorless energy pack here pretty sweet in a palo sand awesome so that is uh oh brock just did it because he heard me talking about him oh no brock just stay off my account brody Stay off my account. Not into that. So, uh, is it? Oh, is it? What is? Uh, oh, is this a thing? Is this a thing? I should <laughs> should have. No, no, no. I shouldn't have said it. Okay, I'm sorry. Is this a thing? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what it is. I I'm too old to know what this stuff is. So, someone. Oh God, now. <laughs> Did I just get memed in my own? That was the one thing I wasn't supposed to say. Oh, okay. All right. So that's fine. That's the one thing I'm not supposed to say. So I got got in my own chat. That's fine. 
See, you know, when you're like 30 years old, you can't really always keep up with the <laughs> keep up with everything that goes on on the internet. Otto and Natalie, see, you guys have to keep me up to date on what the new internet thing is. So I don't, I don't know. But that's that's fine. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. That's mean, guys. Yeah, don't don't say that. That's mean stuff. If you're gonna be mean, get out of the chat. That's not that's not fun. So. Uh, but I don't. Uh, I just asked what it meant, so like that's that's fine. Like I don't. I don't really feel embarrassed about that. It's not a big deal. So, yeah, Riley is moving to a new place. Uh, new, moving to a new apartment, I think. So he's kind of been MIA. Got a Gumshoes GX here. I actually love Gumshoes GX. Searching the premises, awesome. I got to use that. I uh, got to use that quite a bit last year, actually. I was playing it in a Ninetales deck. It was a lot of fun. So definitely am a fan of <laughs> fan of uh, Gumshoes and Young Goose. Uh, they are goofy as well. And definitely, like, why is he like this weasel with a haircut? I don't really know. But anyways, so that's, uh, that's a thing. Lorantis GX, uh, not going to lie, it crossed my mind that, like, you could pair Lorantis GX with, like, Rayquaza GX. And then I was like, no, that's actually, like, super bad. So, yeah, that's definitely not not good. But it, it did cross my mind. Uh, so, let's see, both Nidra and Andrew, hey, hey, chill, chill, chill. Chill with that stuff. Chill with that stuff, guys. So, we got an Incineroar GX, 258 points. Sweet, sweet dude there. I'm excited about Blaziken, though. I think Blaziken could be good. I think Blaziken, like, you know, when that fire started, Blaziken comes out. I think Master Royale is, like, a little bit, like, uh, inconsistent. It's a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit, you know, undependable. Another Oranguru, that's awesome. Oranguru is just, like, super good, especially now that... Now that Octillery is gone out of standard, you kind of just have Oranguru to rely on. You have Macargo to rely on. You have Zorak. So that's that's it, right? Uh, Christian, we've been here for a while. I've opened literally all of the... Uh, I've li opened literally all of the uh, Celestial Storm stuff already. But we're grinding through, see if we can get a Secret Rare Ultra Ball about... Uh, see if I can get a Secret Rare Ultra Ball out of this Sun and Moon stuff here because I want one for the account. So, like, that would be awesome. What do you think about Zeb Strika for draw? What does Zeb Strika do? I actually am, like, not familiar with Zeb Strika. I appreciate your hard work, Natalie. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you to everybody who is patient with me and, uh, you know, and all that stuff, man. I just, like, I don't spend enough time on the Internet to really know all this stuff man so it's uh it is what it is so it's all good um but yeah secret Rare ultra ball would be pretty dope i have like an astounding number of codes here from montreal appreciate it thank you thank you mr doe uh Milige. sorry if i messed that name up i appreciate it thank you very much what is the internet you're right what is the internet i was just watching a uh I was watching a little B video this morning where he was talking <laughs> talking about the internet, and it was very funny. I actually really like Lil B as a rapper, but Natalie hates Lil B, so like we we disagree on that. I really love Lil B. I think Lil B is very very talented. I think he's a genius. Natalie thinks he's he's horrible, so we just uh, we just kind of disagree on that. Let's uh, let's see. Oh, Zeb Strikas in the November set is that uh, awesome, Mr. Doe, uh, Mr. Doe. I, I'm just going to call you Mr. Doe, but uh, I appreciate that. Uh, shout out to a fellow teacher there. Saw some people talking about this Dragonair, Dragon Wish with your Rayquaza GX. Seems a little inconsistent, but I do uh, I do think that it's a cool card. I wish Dragonair could be good, but unfortunately, I don't think you can guarantee. Uh, yes, William James, I love Lil B. I love, I love, I actually love Lil B. So good. I think he's so good. But I know a lot of my friends give me give me stuff for that. Uh, no, not little, not uh, little Beaver, <laughs> uh, not Justin Beaver. No, little B, little B, the rapper. I think he's really good. But I have a very uh, wide taste in music, though. It's not just uh, not just I don't just listen to rap. I you know listen to a lot of alternative and stuff too. Kind of listen to a little bit of everybody. But I think I just think Lil B is very funny, also. So he kind of has that going for him. 
Uh, he's also been called the death of rap music. So, like, you know, some people definitely, <laughs> definitely do not, uh, do not like it. <clears throat> um, so, what's the next? What is the next set called? Uh, is it called? What is the next set called? Is it? Um, is it something to do with dragons? Is it something to do with lightning? I've seen people talking about like Zorora GX. Is that? Is that what it is? Aurora GX. Is Aurora GX in the next set? Lunala GX there. Awesome. Um, is, is Aurora GX in the next set? Because I think that uh, I think that Zorora GX seems like super good, right? It's got like Nitro Tank, but for lightning type Pokemon, so like that seems really, really good. I mean, nothing not to like about that. And is there a mini set coming up in September? Otto, tell me about the mini set coming up in September. Tell me about that. Uh, we get side sets. Really? Oh, uh, thank you, Natalie, for admitting admitting that Lil B has a good song. Thank you for that. Dragon Majesty comes out in September. Uh, and Zora GX is in Lost Thunder, which is in November. All right. So our September set gets this mini dragon set. Is this mini dragon set online? I can see all the cards from it. Is that a thing? Let's open Noble Victories. Let's see if we can get a full art in. That'd be insane. Dragon Majesty is a mini set in September. Lost Thunder main set in November. Rumored to have 210 <laughs> cards. Uh, I know. No Seeker Rare Ultra Ball. Ooh, that's unfortunate. But it's fine. We're going to keep keep hoping here. We did get a reverse in. And a Victini there. Pretty cool. It's all on Poke Beach, huh? So I can go check it out on Poke Beach. I will go check that out. I actually have an article coming out on Poke Beach. I haven't written an article in ages. Oh, we got Glaciate Curum as well. This thing was a boss back in the day. Super, super, super good. So that is, that's awesome. Let's open another. When will you get uh, new packs? When will you open new packs? I already did, uh, Claudio. So you kind of missed the train on that. Another reverse N. Awesome. I already opened. I opened like 130. Uh, oh, PTCG Radio. Yeah, I follow him sometimes too. Usually I check out Poke Beach though because I do actually write there. I'm going to be writing a article for Poke Beach like next week or something. So that's awesome. If you guys you know read Poke Beach or like reading art articles you can check out for that it's going to be about next format stuff and just like next format decks and next format deck building let's do some guardians rising guys i have never opened a tapu lele gx i'm just letting you guys know uh is, is the british version of andrew <laughs> i have never opened a tapu lele gx on ptcgo we have 76 codes here uh and we're gonna see if we can do it i have three tapu lele i traded for them when it first came out because i needed them and i have opened hundreds of of these packs i have opened hundreds of guardians rising packs on ptcgo but i have never gotten a tapu lele so we're gonna see if we can get a tapu lele here and see what we can do on that there's a tapu coco don't need him i've got like six of that guy but if we can get another Tapu Lele GX, that would be awesome because then maybe I can trade my Tapu Lele GX into some more Celestial Storm packs. And then hopefully, you know, I need to get stuff for Natalie too. So I need to, a, we're not just getting stuff for my account here. We need to get stuff to trade to Natalie's account as well uh, so that she can do some testing and stuff on there. Uh, let's see. I pulled both my trade locked Lele's. Awesome. I wish I could pull some Lele's. That'd be pretty sweet. Now, I'm feeling pretty good here. In like 76 packs, I know Lele is going to be in a collection box as a reprint. I heard about that. So that is unfortunate for a lot of collectors. But honestly, like take a look at my, take a look at my, you know, my Lele's are like bent through the front. Like y'all can see like, this Lele literally has a front crease. We can just, we can skip it over to full screen, show that off, dude. My Lele has a front crease. That is the back of my Lele. Like these things are not worth anything. So when I heard that Lele was getting a reprint, I was like, that's cool because it's not, my Lele's aren't worth anything anyway. So it didn't really, 
doesn't really matter. I really wasn't super bummed out about it because yeah, my Lele's are worth like, you know, maybe five, 10 bucks. So <laughs> they're not really losing any value, any value in this next, uh, you know, in the reprint there. My Lele's are just like creased. And then I did get, we got our four rays as well. So like I have all my, you know, my Ray GX's for the deck. So like that's exciting as well. And what's crazy is like these things are gonna start to get creased too. They're not creased yet. So I don't know, I've been doing quite a bit of testing. They're not creased yet, but I think probably if we give them like a week, they'll probably be like creased in half. So that would be, um, you know, that is just gonna be that. Those $20 Rayquazas, I got them for 20 bucks. I was able to get them from Dariums at 20. So we have eight. TPK Nova, yes, these are the codes that you sent me. So shout out to TPK Nova in the chat here. Awesome dude, uh, donated me a lot of codes there. Really, really appreciate the donation. Thank you so much for that. And also just sent like very, very kind note, very nice uh, Ente card as well in that little package. So really appreciate that TPK. Thanks again. So. Yeah, we're rolling through some of these Guardian and Rising codes now. Gonna see if we can get a Tapu Lele for my account, but honestly, we might just end up trading it away. I feel like, you know, most accounts you want like four Lele just to have four Lele, but that, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's not required. I mean, really three Lele will get you through almost uh, everything. Three Lele will get you through like just about any deck that you need to build. I and I haven't seen a deck that played four Lele. I saw that TPK. Yes, there were some old codes in there. And I opened some Heart Gold Soul Silver stuff. We got a Drampa, seventh Drampa there. Sweet. I saw some older stuff there. And um and that was awesome. I mean, I think we pulled like a Yan Mega Prime out of our Triumphant Pack. I also used yeah, Tord used four Lele, but other than Tord's four Lele, it really hasn't been many decks that played four Lele. Definitely has been uh, decreasing in play. So four, not super uh, as needed as it used to be. So I got to make Otto an admin. Otto, you still in the chat? I got to make you an admin. I got to make Dankus an admin as well. Just so that we can uh, we can get you boys all admins up that would be pretty dope i appreciate you guys coming and hanging out in the chat i know 55 like that's what i'm saying i burnt through 20 already like dude these leles just do not like me like that like they just are not trying to get pulled auto you know if you were you know if you came down this weekend maybe we could get it all sorted out you know in person but that's fine we'll uh we'll all have to take a look at it again and just uh honestly i forgot how to make somebody and admin in the chat. So I will take a look at it again and try to figure figure it out. I think I have to have your YouTube URL or something like that. So like your YouTube channel URL. Hey, Full Art Turtle Man GX. That's my third one. Awesome. Love Turtonator. I think Turtonator is a boss. And Turtonator is just like awesome. Nitro Tank's just such an incredible, incredible GX attack. More Watch Hogs, bro. I don't know about Watchhog. I'm just saying. Don't worry, Andrew. I've never gotten a Lele at all in PTCGO or IRL. Yikes. Vikavolt GX there. Huge Vikavolt GX. Awesome stuff. Been thinking about getting some more kind of varied content up. So apparently, like, a lot of people are interested mostly in, like, the post-rotation deck list, including... Uh, that dragon mini set. So I'm going to have to look at the dragon mini set and kind of start to, you know, look at that as well. I've mentioned before, I'm investing most of my time into testing world's format right now, but I'm going to try and get some, you know, some new kind of stuff up on the channel as well. Obviously, part of the point of this opening here is that we are going to be getting uh, we're going to be getting more content. I think this is my fifth rainbow rare <laughs> like Rock GX. And just to show you guys, I've opened five. I opened these. I didn't trade for any, right? I opened five rainbow rare like Rock GX, and I've never opened a Lele. So that's insane. Uh, TPK says, the one Lele I pulled had a square corner miscut. That's awesome. 
some reason my Pokemon account won't update. It's stuck at 50%. Yes, Goose, that happens all the time. Just go in, delete your PTCGO file from your computer, and then reinstall it from Pokemon's website. So you just have to abort mission there on the on the update. It's our fourth, our fourth Tartanator GX. Uh, just restart, you know, delete the program entirely reinstall it. I don't know why that happens on my Mac, but it happens on my Mac. So like it just won't update correctly. So I every time that there's a big update on PTCGO, I just have to delete and reinstall. And it works. So I had to do that this morning, literally, but it worked. Uh, it worked for me. Is there an easier way? If there's an easier way, Yarden, then why don't you tell me? Because I, I don't know. I just uh, I'm always one for the delete and reinstall. We did it! Oh, yeah, we did it! There we go, <laughs> Mr. Doe, we got that Lele. All right, I, can, I have opened hundreds of Guardians Rising packs. Hundreds of Guardians Rising packs. And we finally got it. Tapu Lele GX, that is awesome. Regular art there. We finally got it. That is insane, dude. Like, And you guys saw some of those counts. Like, five full art Turtonators. I have, like, five, what, five? or rainbow rare like a rock gx is like that's finally my fourth lele there finally 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 that is awesome now let's get a fifth though let's get let's get a fifth all right we're gonna we got 40 packs we can definitely do it again we can definitely get another one i want a full art or like look how many turtonators i have i have like so many turtonators i have so many like every other thing in this set because i have just opened uh an un reasonable amount of guardians rising on ptcgo and just like like how many, that's nine vika volts i have nine vika volts but i have only opened one lele ever so that is just insane yes brian uh riley is actually moving so riley is in the process of moving right now which is why he hasn't been uh twitch streaming as often and that just is uh that's just what he's doing why don't I stream? I am streaming right now. This is streaming. But okay, so why don't I stream on Twitch? I actually am going to start streaming on Twitch here. I'd like to actually get that figured out before the school year starts. So maybe I'll do some test runs uh, sometime here on Twitch. So I'm going to start streaming on Twitch as well. It's probably just going to be the same username, Enjoy Friend. E N J O Y friend as my Twitter and as my Instagram as well. I have Instagram A's dude, no way. Like six Rainbow Rare Like and Rock GX's, dude. Six of these. Like, what am I gonna do with all these Rainbow Rare Like and Rock GX's? It's nuts. It's completely nuts. I don't know. Like, imagine if those were all Rainbow Rare Lele's that I had pulled. Uh, imagine if that was uh imagine if that was all Rainbow Rare Lele's. I would have six rainbow rare leles right and that always kind of like that always kind of bothers me right like because i'm like you know like all these that i opened they could be that right but they just weren't they're coming in like bruxious you're right they are just coming in like bruxious dude this terminator always kind of weirded me out like what is he doing here he's just got such like an odd little grin and he's like blowing fire out of his nose like definitely i don't know and he's like uh crawling around there on the ground definitely kind of odd Andrew, what do you teach? I teach special education, high school special ed. We got Hala here. Awesome. It's a pretty cool supporter, which could get better with the rotation here, you know, especially if you have a deck where you plan on using your GX attack early. Are you planning on putting more vintage decks in the Etsy store? Yes, I do. Uh, it's just a matter of getting a you know, I know getting those cards you know for myself so i actually i kind of have you know some i have some kind of you know workings going on with full grip where i like am getting some stuff from them to help me build these old decks so i'm going to be throwing some more up there to double mimic which is awesome so uh full grip's definitely helping me get some cards together for those old decks and you know building the kind of old you know, base set, jungle, fossil, those decks are the easier ones to build right now. Building, like, it's kind of unfeasible to uh, build, you know, decks from like 2006 and then like resell them because they're just so impossible to build. They're so expensive. Like, you know, admin is like a $40 card, you know, which is like completely nuts. Some of the 
cards in those are just like 30 40 dollar cards it's just very very expensive some of those old 2006 decks are like 600 dollars decks so i can't really do that but as often as i can build those old wizards of the coast decks i definitely will you know continue trying to build some and get them up into the etsy store the last uh you know few weeks here i've been building my cube so i have a base set through sky ridge cube that i've been working on and based through Sky Ridge, that's like all Wizards of the Coast era stuff. And a cube is just like a box of cards that you draft from, right? And I actually wanted to do a draft on camera for you guys. Might even like stream it eventually, right? And back-to-back uh, -back Finette Full Art. That's insane, Mystic. Congrats. That's awesome. Uh, Otto, yes. Otto built his, uh, his deck for his cube a little aggressively and ended up decking out a lot, right? So like that was uh, unfortunate for Otto. But we got eight people together. Actually, Mikey from Dariums uh, tagged in on the cube as well. So we had me, Natalie, Mikey from Dariums, uh, and a bunch of other people. It was awesome. Matt Price was there too. Sean Lydon, we had a great time. My friend Alex as well and Will were both there. Uh, just got together at Full Grip Games. We drafted out of the cube. It was a blast. And it's still a work in progress. That's the thing about a cube is like you get these, it's like 600 cards, right? And they're all from that era. And you just like, you try to get them together and then you like draft out of them and you build decks out of the cards you drafted. And, uh, and they're just a lot of fun to do. So I think like it would be very easy for me, a Metagross, nice. That's my fourth actually regular art Metagross. That's pretty cool. My other one, uh, actually it says that I have four here. Hmm. Interesting. I thought that that was my fourth regular art, but it looks like that might be an extra there. But the cube, we could do just a two-person draft. So me and Sean one night did a two-person. It's called a Solomon draft. We got Toxapex GX here. So we got a Solomon draft, and a Solomon draft is where you just draft with, like, two people, and you open up a pack of, like, eight cards. They're called packs, right? But you just, like, open. You take eight cards randomly from the cube, and you lay them out. And then one player like separates them into two different pods, right? So like if there's a really good card, they might like put the one really good card in one pile and the seven other cards in another pile, right? And then the player who didn't divide them up into two into two pods uh, picks one of the pods, right? So it's kind of this like really fascinating way of drafting. It's a lot of fun. And Sean and I were thinking about making a video out of it. All right, we have got 11 packs to get another Lele. Let's do it. We were in on like 70 something Guardians Rising packs. Can we do it? We're counting down now. I told you, I can't believe that I even got one. I was just expecting to just be like zero on those, you know, I was just expecting to be zero on Lele's like forever just because they just had eluded me for so long. We just get things like nose pass, right? So it's just been like a hot nothing on the Lele pulls, which is like hilarious, right? Because, oh, what's up? Natalie is here. I believe Natalie's here. I'm pretty sure Natalie's here. That or someone's breaking into my apartment. So it's either A, Natalie's I'm here. In. All right, Natalie's breaking in. Natalie's here. So what's up, Natalie? Hey. How you doing? We are cracking some stuff here. Oh, I see Natalie brought some monsters. That's what's up. It's almost as good as being sponsored by Monster. <laughs> Uh, is just like having your girlfriend bring you some monsters so like that. I guess I'll just have to deal with that. That's fine. Uh, oh, no. Tabbed out for 10 seconds and missed the Lele opening. Rip. Yeah, dude, that's unfortunate. Unfortunate for sure. All right. Come on. We got three packs. Let's go. Galissapod Garbodor. You think Galissapod Garbodor is the best deck for worlds? We're still doing our worlds testing. And we're going to get a lot, a lot, a lot of worlds testing done. Um, TPK, I think you sent me at least like 50 or so. I'm pretty sure there were at least like 50 in there. Uh, a Vikavolt. Oh, it's like my 10th Vikavolt, bro. Imagine if those were all... Uh, as a phys ed teacher, I will not give you more monster drinks. That's fair. Uh, I actually, Mr. Doe, I actually, I work out uh, quite a bit and I am very active. I was a track runner in college and I also, you know, go climbing and I do stay very active, Mr. Doe. So you'd be, be happy to hear that, although maybe not happy to hear about my diet per se. Uh, but I am working on my diet as well. It's just I do, you know, 
fiercely depend on caffeine. What's up? Natalie Hello. is here. So she's going to be uh, a Mystic, crack I saw all your comments. I'm not going to buy it right now. I don't, I don't, I don't collect that hardcore. Oh, uh, what do you, what He's is that? He's trying to sell me a rainbow electrode. Oh, uh, rainbow electrode. Ooh, now. Oh my gosh, I love these legend. This is like possibly one of the like the most beautiful cards. I think this is just like so like the Mew so better. cool. Uh, the Mew better. I mean, I don't know. I love this. I love this artwork on this card. I think it's just uh, it's just so awesome. Um, and then I also skateboard. I've been tre uh, teaching Natalie to skateboard lately, so she's getting better and better. We're actually gonna go skate later. You can tell by her Thrasher T-shirt. Yeah, I can wear those now. Yeah, she I've can wear a Thrasher T-shirt. Right. <laughs> she knows she she's got her own board and she skates now. So <laughs> very very cool. We're working on the basics. We're working on just riding and also uh, tic tacking. Yes, we will eventually get. Oh Ooh. yeah, we'll eventually get her into the realm where she is uh, ollieing. That is the that is the goal. Ooh, we'll so. See. The nostalgia from Celestial Storm, yes, is very cool. I keep seeing Piper's name, and I keep thinking about Orange is the New Black. Natalie's been having me watch Orange is the New Black <laughs> lately. So. I gotta catch up on my show. I know. She's been having me watch that. I haven't watched, like, hardly any of it since the first season, and, and she's... And Doc says I look very bright with all this light hitting me. Yeah, my hair is also very blonde look, right now. You do look very bright. Here, let's, uh, let's scoot you over a little bit, and we'll get you kind of like, yeah. Yeah, sorry, you know, the exposure, the white balance, you know, Natalie's, uh, Natalie's skin just very, Listen, very white. I got quite the it's, tan it on is, vacation. It is beautiful. <laughs> it looks very nice. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Who wants a Rainbow Warrior Zorark GX from Shining Legends? I got a bunch of Shining Legends to open, actually. So, that, uh, I do actually, okay, so Mew from Fates Collide in what, current format, Rayquaza? I don't think it's that bad. I don't think you want to really necessarily put energy onto it, though, is, like, my big deal with just it. Just losing three energy so easily Losing hurts. uh King of the Road. I actually, I'm subscribed to Thrasher Magazine, so I've been reading about King of the Road, but I don't have cable, so I can't watch King of the Road. So I would like to watch King of the Road, but I don't have cable. Instead, I have subbed to Th uh, Thrasher Magazine, and I just read about it. And I actually just put a bunch of King of the Road stickers that they had in the latest uh, Thrasher magazine, I put them on my binder, even though I haven't actually seen the show. But I do support, uh, you know, the fact that that's I like. I love the skateboarding scene. I love skateboarding culture. What they're doing there, great. Uh, I think it's really really cool. Skyla Full Art. Where would Skyla Full Art uh, come from? Uh, uh, boundaries crossed. Oh, boundaries crossed. That'd be sick. Oh, that's what you're opening right now, isn't it? It is what I'm opening. Yes, yeah, so we could get it. Uh, I am 29, Mr. Smock owner. I am 29. So I'll be turning 30 in December, December 14th. So, oh, they end up getting put on YouTube. So, Nate, here's the thing is like, I just, yep, this is how little I know about the internet. Uh, Celestula, or no, Cresselia Poker. EX. Poker uh, Jedi says that, it, that we were talking about fresh, uh, Thrasher's Fries in Ocean City. I had some of those. Yes. They're good. Oh, I love Thrasher's Fries yeah. in Ocean City. Yes. Uh, Yes, Rodney Mullen is a legend. He's my favorite skater. Uh, as you guys, many of you guys have seen from my uh, Twitter handle is EnjoyFriend. My Instagram handle is EnjoyFriend. Oh, I was saying this earlier, but then I, I forgot what I was saying. But I also, I do have an Instagram at EnjoyFriend, E-N-J-O-Y Friend, if anyone wants to Follow check Follow me too, Natalie Kazam. And Natalie also. <laughs> all right, all right, Natalie, listen. Uh, you know, listen, you know, get your own airtime for your own plugs, Okay. <laughs> So, yeah, Natalie's on Instagram as well. But I've been starting to, like, upload Pokemon stuff to my Instagram. And I uploaded an Instagram thing on Instagram TV. So I uploaded a video there. And it was my PSA pulls. So, like, that was super cool. Kyogre. Dude, allow, yeah. allow Otto to, to plug his uh, oh, Twitter yeah, also. Yeah, 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 sure. I'm going to let auto plug his twitter there i had to press a lot auto it. promote himself yes auto also on twitter we all out there on twitter it's one of the Our main bar, mr doe uh oh yes yes <laughs> yeah. so natalie knows a little bit of french i do not five yes. years of french uh i don't know that much though no i don't know that much i would say i can i can carry on a very very awkward conversation right <laughs> will we ever see i can read it right Ooh, we got a double draw in Poly or a diving draw in Poly very cool Oh, Napoleon. What deck do you think will be the best post rotate? Right now, honestly, Malamar just seems like super safe. Like, it's got everything. Guardi. Right? Guardi also seems super safe. So, 
and Guardi and Malamar both seem really good. Let's grind through some Shining Legends. All right, we got like 50 Shining Legends packs here. Let's see. What's going to win Worlds? Uh, I think it's, I don't know, it could be Ray, it could be Guardi, it could be Zork. It could be like Buzzwall. any of those things. It could even be could Buzzwall. Be Buzzwall. Yeah, any of those four decks all feel super good. Uh, so I think like those are kind of like Oh, yeah, Bulu's decks. good after rotation too. Oh, Bulu's good after, but Bulu struggles with Guardi though. It does. Uh, so I think Guardi's... like... I think Guardi, I think Guardi and Metagross will both like be good, like really good. I think Bulu right? will still be fine though. So it, uh, Bulu stresses me out because it can't hit those one hit knockout numbers. It um, it it just doesn't lose anything though. Is the good thing about it. So right. It definitely it doesn't really lose much. It already didn't really like playing Professor Sycamore, so it doesn't really mind losing that at all. Does Skyla stay in format? No. Skyla's gone, right? Skyla's gone. So you just have Volkner now, right? Which is kind of like your. You're like budget Skyla, right? Chris, Crispin wants me to speak French back to it, but I'm not going to in front of a bunch of people. <laughs> Sorry, man. I'm is, not that, for... is that what he's asking you to do? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> he's asking how I am and that, and he lives in Canada, but uh, I'm not going to respond to him in French because I don't want anybody seeing that my French on live video. On live video. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, Mr. Dom, thank you. Now you are Mr. Dom. That's much easier to say. Uh, much easier to say. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Dom. Pasimian, oh, we got some Pasimian fans out here in the audience. Pasimian could be good. Saw some people talking about Venusaur with Rayquaza. You could play Venusaur with Rayquaza, but I just don't know if that's like consistent enough to really uh, be good. I think I like Venusaur though. I might even like Venusaur better than Bulu because like, uh, or not Bulu, uh, better than Vikavolt, just because Venusaur just like. It allows you to accelerate energy in the natural way that you were that Rayquaza wants to accelerate energy, which is by like discarding it, right, and then attaching it to itself, and then so you don't have to keep energy in deck. Like Vikavolt wants to have all the energy in deck, uh, you know, and Ray kind of likes having energy in the discard pile to accelerate it. So you kind of have to like keep energy in both places, which is very weird. Whereas Venusaur doesn't really care where you got the energy from; it just doubles it. So like that's super cool, and I also like the idea of just attacking with Rayquaza for two energy. That's like super cool, right? So only needing to have two energy on your Rayquaza to attack, very, very good. So I don't know, Venusaur, but fitting a stage two in your Rayquaza deck is just like really tough. I mean, let me tell you, especially since like I can tell you, even though you have the, um, even though you have like the stage two to accelerate energy or whatever, you're still gonna wanna use Rayquaza's ability. Like Rayquaza's ability is still like very good. So you could um, you could just like not use Rayquaza's ability. Ooh, I love these uh, I love these energies here. The hollow energies from Shining Legends, very good. Oh, those are cool. Yeah. Otis had a good question. Says he's been watching videos to learn about the game for his son. Oh, awesome. Or her son? I'm not sure. Sorry about your name. Uh, yeah. What the I don't know how to pronounce your name, but what deck has the easiest learning curve for younger players? I would say Ho Kiawe. Yeah. Is a good one. Yeah. I uh, agree. Um, or anything with Kiawe in it, really, like a simple. Ooh, we got a darkness there too. Very cool. Nice. Yeah. Ho Kiawe, definitely an easier deck to learn. I also think that, uh, honestly, like big basic decks like Boswell is another good deck to learn uh, for people just like coming into the game. So I think Boswell and Ho Oh, decks where you have just these big basic Pokemon, you load energy onto them and you do the attack, right? Stage two decks. Decks where you have to like manage resources a little more carefully are definitely you know a little bit more difficult to learn, especially for younger players. Got a right to GX there, awesome stuff. Nice. Uh, Chill says Ho okay, we got them uh, all their points this season. That's so probably that's a good awesome. deck to teach a younger kid how to play. Oh, for yeah. sure. Good, good deck still, but you know, simple mm -hmm. and not too many things to keep track of. What's up, Richard? Yeah, so good here. I'm done opening all my Celestial Storm. We got three rays, so. We're going to hop in and see if maybe I can trade for a fourth ray. And then, you know, probably try to bust out, I don't know, bust out a game or something like that. would be pretty is often. It, um, are we allowed to play it on the... Oh, can you play Celestial Storm yet? Or is that not legal till like, tomorrow? They're just allowing you to open. Oh, yeah. We got a Zorark GX. I actually started the day off with, like, eight Zorark GX. And then I kept trading my Zorark GXs away for, like, more Guardians Rising packs. So, like... That was kind of like my nice. thought there, was that I was going to trade for Guardians Rising Packs, open them on the stream, and then hopefully we were going to get a fourth Lele. We did get a fourth Lele. Shining Arceus, that's our fourth one. Pretty cool there. Pretty, pretty cool. 
Uh, no, but like, when can we start playing it on PTCG? It might be, oh. You might be able to. And Dog says you can play it now. You can play it now. Ooh, we yeah. could. Uh, uh, he said, yeah, it says, it says that. You getting a little tired opening packs. We could head on over to the trade zone, see if we can get ourselves a uh, fourth ray somehow. I highly doubt it. I think Apparently Daniel, it's, yeah, they're going. They're expensive right now. They're like yeah, like thirty packs. But we're gonna see what we can do here. We're gonna see how many celestial storm packs we can trade a Lele for or something like that, and see if we can maybe just. Uh, finagle our way into a um, into another ray. Do I have any base set Blastoise? Yes, I've got lots of base set Blastoise. I have a uh, base Neo version of Blastoise, which has like three or four Blastoises in it, three Blastoises in it. I have a base Fossil version of Blastoise that plays uh, the, what is it, Articuno and also Blastoise Articuno from Fossil. So like that's super cool as well. And then I also have like four or five uh, I have like four or five base set Blastoises in my cube as well. Blastoise is a big, uh, big line in my cube. I also have a French one. I also have a French one, a first edition. Tour French tank. One. Uh, I don't have tour tank. I thought you had tour tank. I don't have tour tank. Oh, I like no, tour tank. No, I have a first edition. I think he's Portuguese. Oh. I have a first edition like Portuguese Blastoise base set Blastoise, which is pretty cool. Uh, Sean Lyon at Full Grip just always pulling in some crazy stuff. Natalie's actually been working there a little bit part time lately, just been uh, you know helping sort some cards. But do they, they have a lot of cards? They to sort. pull in some insane, insane stuff there. Every dude. time I'm there, they're buying cards, and I'm like, oh, man, we're know, never gonna catch right? up. I know it's just uh, it's nuts. So like you'll just be like sorting through some of the stuff they have, and like, oh, here's a first edition Shadowless Blastoise. Okay, I've seen great. some really cool uh, different language cards. I saw like a Japanese Yon Mega Prime, right. which is really cool the other day. That is super like... cool. What is the new meta? I just got back into playing the TCG. New meta probably is going to be like Guardi and Ray and Malamar and Buzzwool and Metagross. Yep, probably something like that. Probably, yep, that sounds about right. So, yep, probably like all of those. And just, oh, and Zoroark. Yes, probably also Zoroark. So, that'd be awesome. Oh, thank you, Fernando. Appreciate it. I uh, hope to meet you, too, as well. Raichu. Another Raichu GX. That's our ninth Raichu GX. Oh, yeah. What's your opinion on the Ray Buzz matchup? Uh, in current standard, I think it's close. I think it's close. I feel like Ray might be favored, but definitely a close matchup. I've seen it go either way. I mean, obviously, you kind of just want to be the first person to take, like, a big knockout or to take, like, two little knockouts. Having the, you know, having Latias very good uh, for Ray, having little Buzzwall very good for Buzzwall, it kind of just comes down to who can, you know, swing first and get the first big knockout, and then, you know, the game just kind of goes for there. Guardi is horrible for, uh, for Rayquaza, you know, tested that quite a bit. It is just, like, not pretty. It's, like, super, super not, you know, not easy. But uh, it can be done. I've seen it done. I mean, we're still tweaking our list a little bit and seeing what we can come up with for the World Championships, doing tons and tons of testing for that. All right, Shining Legends. We did, like, 50 packs, got one Zorak GX. So, like, that's cool. Got a lot of other stuff here from, like, old XY sets. I think I want to see if we can trade for something. So let's, like, let's see what we can trade here. Right. And let's go to public offers and see. We are going to look for packs. And I'm getting apply, and we're going to look for Celestial Storm. You can, oh, okay. There's, an easier, there's a way easier way to do this. Oh, is there? Yes. yes see, yes, Natalie yes. knows all the ways to yes, do things. No, 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 don't, don't what? do that. Do this. What, what did I do wrong? Go to packs. Packs. And then packs. there's a filter for Celestial oh, Storm. Oh, okay. There you go. That's uh, fine. But it, um. It's just, uh, it kind of. It might, is it working or? It, it did this to me at first as well. Like, it wasn't finding things at again. first. So let's just, uh, let's see. Let's look in the trade. We're going to look for cards. I'm getting apply, uh, I don't know, Rayquaza. Ray yeah, Rayquaza uh, GX. And it was giving me, like, yeah, it gave me this That's the weird. first couple times. But then, like, I kept doing it, and then it would eventually, it would eventually show up. I do have a Nintendo Switch, uh, Matt and the Hat. We both have Nintendo Switches. Love my Nintendo Switch. I actually waited out in the freezing cold for it. Oh, I was there. Uh, yes, you saw that. Uh-huh. Uh, yes, waited out in the freezing cold for it. 
on the release night and i got was Zelda. Miserable. <laughs> it was miserable it was snowing it was like very very cold and i waited all night and then i was like supposed to go in and teach the next day which i did but i did stay up most of the night playing breath of the wild oh you got and your switch auto how do you like it Oh, I don't want to switch. Otto we kept, we kept telling you know, he kept like coming over and he'd be like, I don't want to buy a switch. Now. Oh, about yeah. time you joined us, Otto, with the switch. He Very uses good. it to play Fortnite, he says. Oh, he uses it. What the heck is Get the point a good of this? game. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, he uses it to play Fortnite. That is very, very funny. I am getting Celestial Storm a fly. All right, here Did we go. Did you get it? I no. Uh, let's see. Accept the trades. No, none of these are for Celestial Storm. Oh, you haven't you haven't hit the filter. Oh, okay. There, there we go. All right. So but that's not... these are not it still. Let's see. I am getting packs. I am getting oh, you're not, you didn't have Celestial it on. Storm. I'll fly. Yeah, I didn't. Not. Hmm. Seems fake, but okay. Because I did. You guys saw me. I was on here. I did bring up a Rayquaza GX. Like you now you're saw. on packs. Uh, oh, now I'm yeah. on. All right. Yeah, I, can, I can fix it. I can fix it. Yeah. yeah. Cards. I am getting Rayquaza GX. All right. Apply. Current filters will not return results. All right, so let's take the filters off. Okay. No filters, just Rayquaza GX. So here it is. So 40 you need packs to not... for one. Says 40 something. packs, that's fine. That's fine. All right, so 40 Cynthia... packs. Oh, what's that? Click on, that's, uh... you don't have a floor, Cynthia. Oh, these are all things you can't do. No. Floor, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's going to be a lot right now, but we're just going to see what maybe we can... Uh... Oh, I see. We're trading a rainbow rare for two regulars or something? All right. No, it looks like they're trading three for one. Three for know. one. Oh. Let's a Lele. Oh, you want two Lele's, though? That's probably, that's what it looks like you wanted. So, like, I think two Lele's is, like, asking quite a bit. No, it's not worth it. Oh, no. Yeah, like, you just don't do that. But, like, let's see. Can I trade a Lele for... And this, like, set dropped, like, almost three hours ago, you know? So, like, here you want... What do you want? Two Lele's. Tell me it's not no. two Lele's. Can't do it. If it was one, I'd do one for one, though. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, let's see. No. Can we do a one for one Ray for a Lele? And that would be pretty hot. But otherwise, it's looking like, let's see. We got gold Ultra Balls in here. Let's see. What do I have to trade for a gold Ultra Ball? All right. We got Cynthia or an Ultra Ball. All right. So let's see. Let's, let's, go, let's look up. Uh, how do we look up like a gold ultra ball? Uh, we know that. Do just do cards. And cards. Ultra, type an ultra ball. I don't. There's probably more trades for a regular ultra ball than there are. Let's or see. Because you could do. Right. You could do rarity. Yeah, tech, yeah. Check the, the. It's the red star. I'm pretty sure. I and think then, it's hollow. Let's see. Is it? Ultra ball. Let's see. Ultra ball. Let's see. Mm, so nope, that's turn it, this I think, on. Right? Yeah. Turn that on. Ultra ball. Yeah, you're all right. All right, this is a secret. And then do acceptable trades only, though. Acceptable trades only. All right, can I trade a Lele? Oh, I, what am I giving here? Oh, that's, oh I'm, that's getting a a, uh, I'm getting a regular Ultra Ball. That is not what I wanted. So, that is uh, that is not uh, saving up for a Switch. Nice. Do you have a Latias Prism Star? I'm sure you got one. I did not get one. You didn't get one? I don't think I got one. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are right. I don't think I got a Latias uh, Prism Star. That is like, ooh, that's unfortunate. All right, so the Ultra Balls are kind of hard to come by. You're looking for, like, you know, a lot of Celestial Storm packs there. Okay, that's fair. 20 packs of Celestial Storm. Looks like everybody, want, everybody wants 20 packs of Celestial Storm. Imagine that. All right, everybody wants Celestial, you know, Celestial Storm. Makes sense. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see, you can put the collector's number of the Ultra Ball. Oh, that's interesting. Let's do Cynthia. All right, what do you, what do you guys want for a full art Cynthia here? All right, Rayquaza GXs, tons of packs. You want a Plasma Ultra Ball, very nice, good for you. All right, let's see you what else. You can see what Lele would get you. That's what I'm trying to figure out if I can turn this Lele into everything. You can do I'm um, like I'm giving and then type in Lele. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm giving and type in Lele and see how much that would get me. Let's see, Cynthia, you want 34 packs. All right, let's, let's see here. Okay, Lele seems to have like kind of gone down, though. And it probably has, but you, yeah, might, you, you might be so able to get like, something for let's it. Let's see, cards, let's see. And then let's go back here. I am giving, apply. And let's see, what can we get on the market for a Lele? All right, let's see. What can we get? Um, yeah, acceptable trades. And I'm giving a Lele. Nope, I want cards. I am giving. Yep, yeah, yeah, apply. That's what you're doing. Okay, I'm giving tap the Lele. All right, what can we get here? Not a lot. Yep. See, nobody wants to give anything for <laughs> Forbidden Light packs. I could get eight Celestial Storm packs. Nah. Bro. <laughs> oh. Uh, wow. I 
Wow, Brandon's Pokemon. That is uh, that is awesome. Um, Worlds is at the end of the month, so it's at the at the end of the month. We see eleven, twelve packs. Celestial Storm. Is this fourteen packs? No, no you're, it's no, only seven. You're, no, you're you are bamboozled. You're trying to bamboozle me with other things. Guardians Rising. No, no, no. We can't do this. All right, it looks like we'll just have to wait until the price of that Rayquaza drops a little bit. I suspect that eventually will. We'll just drop. I will be able to trade into uh, a Zora or a, trade into a Rayquaza here with the Tapu Lele. Um, but it's just uh, it's not going to happen right now. Everybody wants Celestial Storm packs, so we're going to need like. It's costing like 19 Celestial Storm Packs to trade into a Ray right now. That's going to go down. It's just, uh, like I said, the set's only like three hours old. So the goal is, is that maybe I can have enough packs open by tonight to actually get a game recorded for tomorrow. And then we could start doing uh, we could start doing that stuff by tomorrow. So like that would be pretty cool. Weren't we supposed to get 2019 season point structure by now? Yes, we were. Yes, Dallas, the deal we were. I don't think we've ever gotten them on time, honestly. In traditional Pokemon fashion, they are kind of leaving us high and dry here. There have been multiple years where we didn't find out until into the season. I remember, yeah, 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 like until like after regionals had started. There, yes, there were times where we didn't figure out till like. Yeah, way In like, tw yeah, the 2015 right. year, I remember, yeah, we didn't even like know insane. until... All right, so let's do packs. Let's like see. Like, October. I am getting... Oh, no, we need to not... To get to get Celestial Storm on the table, you need to not do that. So let's just type in Celestial Storm. I have, like, a ton of stuff. Let's see, like, if anybody... I am getting Celestial Storm for... Oh, a shift tree? See, so we can get two packs this way. No, one pack for a shift tree. Oh, one pack. All right, all right, let's see. Computer search. Um, do you have an extra computer search? No, but no. I do have an extra dowsing machine, though. I, ooh, I could unload that dowsing machine. Let's see. So, let's see. What else we get here? Scissor. Uh, Trade those scissors. Oh, scissor? Can get How those many later. packs for the scissor? Three. three. Goodbye. Three You've got plenty of them. I'm thinking, all right, we're going to we're gonna trade out. <laughs> yeah, them. we're going to trade some things out. We're going to just make sure that, like, three packs for a scissor is pretty good. I let's see, raise, raise, Lily, two packs for a Lily. Nah, bro, you ain't getting it. B string. That's oh, it's my secret rare. I have two <laughs> secret rare B strings though. All right, we could definitely trade into our last one here with all this juice that we've got. Um, B string. What four packs on a B string? Don't. That's I wouldn't do that. Good. I wouldn't do B that. B string's like a super good card though. Seven packs on a. Yeah, it's is, three no, on the scissors. Three on the scissors feels pretty good. Yeah, like it's I've really got good. a ton of scissors, right? They will never be that high again. No. Like scissor, I think is scissor is gonna tank. They'll a probably bit. be a one pack. Player. All right, all right. So we're gonna we're gonna go through and see if we can get. We need to get like <laughs> nine. Don't let Jig <laughs> Big Jiggly see me trading with scissor. Does Big Jiggly really want to uh, play scissor or something? So let's uh let's check Celestial Storm again. Um. Let's see, not it's loading. Let it load. Uh, it needs to load He's, a little faster. Be patient. <laughs> All right, Zorak GX. Oh, how much can I get? A three? That's fine. Ship it. Yeah, I have five Zorak now, so that's fine. Goodbye. You have a hyper rare mime. I know. We're gonna see what we can what we can hustle away over here. We just need like 19 packs. I think I saw 19 packs for a ray. So if I get the scroll down more says DMB. I need to scroll down more. Yes, it's just uh, we're loading the trades. Really I know. Sure. I'm trying to come on, come on. It's uh, the server is not liking my request for Celestial Storm right now. Okay. Do you have any extra puzzle? Do I have any? I do not. It I says, actually have four, and they are not even matching. All right. I'm gonna need code. You. Oh, I can't believe you opened all those. Opened all of them. I, and I only got three rays. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll get, we'll get you stuff. Uh, no, I'll be fine. I'll just buy codes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So let's see here. Scizor GX. Oh, if Scizor is for a uh, two piece for Scizor. If anybody right. wants to sell me Celestial Storm <laughs> codes, please DM me on Twitter. Uh huh. Let's see. Rayquaza GX, Tapu Lele G. Ooh, the Lele just doesn't feel good though. No, I wouldn't. That copycat. Ooh, no, no. She's she's worth more than that. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Um, let's see. Scizor Trade GX. The other is this three? Don't you like two full arts too? Not. Yes, I have like a lot of them. Uh, Rayquaza GX, Blaziken GX. One. No, sorry. We definitely, the scissors are hot right now. So, like, we need to get rid of those while people are still offering stack attack a GX. Oh, two. No, on you stack get more attack. for the scissors. Trade away all the scissors. I am working on it. I just need to find it. All right, down here. <laughs> See, Lily, Ray, uh, Banette. There's a scissor trade. Scissor trade, five? Two. It's two. 
Yeah, that's the one. It's it's. Jason, you trying to sell some of those? Please <laughs> DM me on Twitter. Two hundred fifty. <laughs> Ooh, that is quite a bit. Electro GX copycat. It's like a decent hit. Slush, Scizor for the one. That's not. That's that's what I don't want. No. Uh, Zork GX Tapu Lele. How many is it? Fourteen. No, it's seven. seven. <sighs> you guys are killing me out here. Three. All right, we're gonna have to. We're gonna take the two. Yeah, it's fine. Uh huh. It's fine. We're gonna get to a point where I think if I have like nineteen, um, if I hit nineteen, I can swap it into a ray. But then I gotta get that Latias, dude. I didn't get the Latias, so it's uh, you know, I gotta find that too, and then I could just roll into some games with Ray. I mean, I think everybody wants to see, everybody wants to see Ray, so that's what we're trying to get get going here. Blaziken GX for one. Tapu Lele, that's not 14. You're lying to me. Uh, Blaziken for one. Do you have extra Gardevoirs? I do. I have two extra full art guardies. Yeah. There is somebody asking for it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I one. Sad. I still even need a third Gardevoir. All right, I don't yeah, because I have six guardies. But... Hey, give me, ship me a guardie, please, later. I could do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I we'll traded away one of my Gardevoirs when, like, Zora Gardy was the thing, and it had, we I'm really needed you, two. I'm telling you, ring for three. There was one for four earlier. Do that. I'm telling you, the B-string for three feels pretty fine. The, the B-strings are so good, though. Oh, Yarden, you have a Latias? Is that what you're saying? That's a uh, Latias is definitely a boy that I need, or a girl, or whatever. Latias is you a know? girl, technically. All right, Latias is a girl that I need. I just call everything boys. Like well, yeah, boy. me too, but yeah, let's you want to get technical. All right, Scizor for two. Two, um, ship it. Yep, yeah, take it. All right, that's fine. I think I have some full art scissors, so I definitely do. I did get codes. I got some, and I had 130 because I bought Yarden, three boxes. Yarden so. wants a bla your Blaziken for the Latias. Oh, Yarden, you want Blaziken for the Latias? Give Yarden the Blaziken. Uh, Larden, Yarden, we can uh, we can do that later. Yes, <laughs> we can uh, we can we can definitely uh, finesse that. Very good. Unless I see a unless I see a Latias here for the cheapy cheap, <laughs> in which case we're just gonna <laughs> we're just gonna do it. Because I think ideally I trade for everything that I need to play Ray like right now, and then I just like pop a game with Ray right now. Like that's kind of <laughs> that's just kind of like the that's the maneuver. All right, what else? Does, stack attacker that for five. I saw stack attacker for five. I'll take it. Where is that? There's no way it's for five. They're definitely trying to play me They're here. They're trolling you. They're trolling me. Two. Two. All right, we're gonna take goodbye, it to sir. Two. All right, goodbye, sir. What one stack attack? I never did me anything. I'll Not today. You are Not today. I mean, we can't. Um, I mean, we can't. Can you do a? How can someone do an offer to me? Can someone do an offer to me? Um, not no. without being friends, I don't think. Oh, uh, right. Wait, what regionals are we planning on going to? That's a good question. Uh, what regionals are Probably we ones we can drive to. to? Yes. We might fly to ones. Dallas again this year. We Maybe. might. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Yes. We talked about this already. Ah, uh, yes. It was cheap. Dallas flights were very cheap. It was so. cheap. If it stays cheap, why not? Yeah, yeah. It was yeah, like eighty-five dollars for a flight. <laughs> there are Lele for Ray trades up. No way, Jonas. Are there? I was looking for it. Here, let's do. I'll look for Ray because I have uh, Rayquaza GX. If if there is a Lele. Let's see. I would do that in a second. Um, so let's do. Yeah, let's just search. No, for they got rid of Indiana's regional. And then let's Sad. just see. It would have to be acceptable trades. Portland flights are cheap. I have an aunt that lives right in downtown Portland. So I'm see. going to look at this. Rayquaza GX. What? Twenty one packs. I mean, I saw one for two Lele's, like that. I mean, that was like waxing. Like they're trying to. Really trying to take advantage of me here. Yeah, two Lele's. Like, you you out here trying to take advantage. No, not not accepting that. See, here are my two acceptable offers. So, this is a no-go for Rayquaza GX. I will not give you two Lele's. Oh, no, no. Very bad. Yes. Here we go. For Tapu Lele, for Rayquaza. See, this person wants, like, three Rays for one Ray. Like, sorry, you're not getting that. Tapu Lele. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. One for one. Do it, yes. do it. Go, Except go, go, go. trade. Quick, yes, quick, quick, yes. Quick, All right. Fast, fast. We got it. All right. So we've got it up. Excellent. Someone, uh, yes. So we are in for four rays. We just did the Lele for a ray. Very good. Now let's uh, now let's get that Latias. How do we trade for Latias? Latias. Let's get a Latias. No, nothing was found. huh? I find that hard to believe. Find me a Latias, please. 
Find me a Latias. I'm sure I can trade some of my Celestial Storm packs for a Latias. Make it Ray. Let's go. Oh, no. This is the wrong Latias. That's not who we want. Very bad. <laughs> it's like four packs. It's like four packs. How do you know? Um, Yardin just said that in the chat. Okay. So I need you can just put four up a trade packs. Oh. Latias Prism Star. Seven eight. packs. Eight packs. Oh, y'all be waxing me. No, no, no. No. Oh, there were more. There we go. Six. Six. Uh, four. There, uh, four or five. There's one for five. Uh, yes, five. There's one for three. Three? Oh, five. I clicked on the wrong one. All right. There's one for scroll. There it is. For Plus two. two more. Clicking the things is always know, like the hardest. All right. Three packs. We accept trade. Yes. Very good. All right, y'all. Let's go play some games with Ray. All right. First, let's build a deck. So let's uh, deck manager. And we're going to build a Ray deck. And then we're going to go play it. All right. Let's go. We're gonna like get at least a couple, uh, I don't know, a couple games in. See what we can do. All right, Rayquaza GX. Let's build a list, a listy list. Let's throw first of all, we're gonna throw four rays in there. Then we're gonna show some, you know, get some Lele's. Lele does not have two L's apparently. Lele. Well, two L's and three L's. Okay. Lele. At least two of those. You want your Latias Prism Star. I'm gonna feel like a real, yeah, I was gonna say, I'm gonna feel like a real bonehead if I had actually already had a Latias. But I did not. And we also need a Ranguru. A Ranguru. And yes, we're gonna throw one of them in there. Very good. And then change the stream title. More people will come. All cops, Rayquaza. Oh, yeah. All right, can I do that? Yeah, all right, let's see. Uh, Rayquaza GX. <laughs> All right. I changed the stream title. There we go. All right. It should say just Rayquaza GX right now. Uh, join Andrew Mahone as he plays Rayquaza GX. <laughs> and opens cards from the newest set. All right. There we go. So, yeah, we're going to put an Oranguru in there. And then, like, you want some trainers. Yeah. You want some, like, you know, you want some Sycamores. You're going to play, like, four of those bad boys. I know Sycamore rotates, unfortunately, but, you know, we got there. Got them for now. I don't know. We're, uh, yeah, sure. We're going to do, do the Acrobike version. We're going to throw some Acrobikes in there. We're going to throw uh, a couple copies of N in there. Give me uh, two of uh, that one. And then we're going to throw four of the Guzman in there. He's all... Chill asked if we've ever been to Four Horsemen. Yes, we have. That's that store. It's that store in West Virginia. Oh, we yeah. We went to a cup there, there one time. Yes, we have been to Four Yeah, I've been there one time. It's a very nice store. It's a Let's bit of a see. drive, though. We don't generally tend to go out that far for cups. Uh, we are also going to put in uh, so, uh, a couple Cynthia. Sure. And I'm going to put in at least like two of those. And then you also want some Ultra Balls. Yes, like three is what we were playing. So three... And four treasure. Three ultra ball. Four treasure. Give me the treasure map. Give me the trees or treasure. Four of these guys is really good. Yep, 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 yep. And then you also want the max elixirs. Yes. Ray does not like the fact that it's losing max elixir next format. But for now, uh, for world's testing, we'll take it. And then we put in some energy too. I know I'm missing lots of stuff still, but we'll get there. All right, lightning energy. Uh, let's see. Yes. Oh, evolution's lightning energy. Oh, I have a gold one. Yeah, we're gonna play our gold one, and then we're gonna play uh, the rest evolutions. Like that's awesome. All right, so we're gonna play like yep, like that, and then we also need grass energy. Very good. And we have like. Why are you putting in so many different energy? Don't not so many different. Okay. Just the one. Just golden the one. one. Okay, yeah, that's obviously. Fine. So, all right, we have 51 cards in the deck, and I know I'm missing some things. So let's see, what else? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So let's uh, throw some Beltos in there. Yeah, so. Some Hustle Belt. Some Hustle Belts. <laughs> <laughs> and then also the uh, the good old, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you want to throw some some floaters in there. And so, yeah, we're going to get Wrong art. No, Gross. whatever. <laughs> yep. Green boy. <laughs> yep. And throw some floaters in there, and then oh yeah, some stretchers, and get the in there. Yes, yes, some okay. stretchers, and then that's a uh, yep, stretcher. Uh, very good. All right, two rescue stretcher, and uh, you know we could throw a third Cynthia in there. The last card's kind of like up for, you know, up up for grabs or whatever. I st I think like probably like. Uh, something to bump 
stadiums. You could play like a field blower as your last card. You could play a parallel as your last card. Uh, you really could play anything. So let's uh, let's just go in with a uh, third Cynthia is like an option too. Let's just go in with a. We got the floats auto. Uh, what uh, counter stadium could be good. Let's throw a stadium in there. What's that? Uh, let's do. Eh, I'll just do parallel. All right, fine. I'm playing one parallel. Here we go. All right, save. It's Ray. All right, Ray, 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 Ray. There he is. All right, Ray, Ray, and Ray, Ray is gonna use the Chancy coin. I, I probably feel like I have a Rayquaza coin. Like that probably. Are you gonna break the Chancy coin? You use that in everything. I do, but look at this. It's got a Rayquaza coin. Like, what's not to like about <laughs> you that? You wanna be that guy who plays with all the same, uh, the same Pokemon that's on the same that's his deck? Yes, and then you also be that? yes, and then do also do the Rayquaza deck box, do the Battle Arena box. <laughs> yep, and then we're gonna play the Battle Arena box, and then we're gonna use Rayquaza sleeves if do you we have, have Rayquaza some. sleeves? Uh, probably not. There, uh, oh, oh, yes, oh, there oh Mega go. Rayquaza sleeves. Yeah, that kind of counts, right? Yeah. All right, here we go. Ray Day. All right, I will change that eventually, but for now, for Ray Day. We're for gonna, Happy Ray Day. Uh -huh, yes. Happy Ray Day. <laughs> we're going to be playing that. <laughs> all right, let's go. Let's play with Ray. I'm ready. It took me all day to get New here. New versus ladder. Oh, it reset in a few days. New That's versus nice. ladder. Does it reset in a few days? I haven't played. I literally have not even touched PTCGO in like weeks because there just has been like no point. Like, what is the point of playing? Anything other than, you know, either Worlds format or Next format, there was just, like, no point in playing the current uh, the current format. All right, so let's go in. It looks like we're playing against, like, Buzzrock here, so that's pretty dope. Let's see uh, how we coin. do against... I'm, I'm waiting for Attila Boy to flip the coin. Very good. That's a very cool coin. Uh, I've seen that I usually go first, yes, when they flip tails. Very good. It's just got my fan club Porygon in the mail. That's awesome. See, uh -oh. we started out a little bit of Tempest. a dead hand. Doesn't matter. You got Tempest. It Tempest. Does. None of it matters. I am Sir Laggington over here. I am definitely, let's see, it's feeling a little bit laggy here on PTCGO today. Probably because lots of people out here on PTCGO trying to do their thing, trying to get things going. Why are every box checked a uh, bit zero ladder? I don't know. Yeah, we're playing against Buzzwoe here, so that's fine. Yeah, let's uh, let's let her rip. All right, so yeah, we have no way to discard it. Oh, Woo! we're good. Oh, oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we milled the Latias, guys. Oh, so sad. That's fine. This is fine. All right, let's just we'll, we'll play that there. I know, I know. Yep, this is fine. Yep. Hello there, Attila boy. Uh, so that's like your, this is your nightmare. Like this, this is, this is what you don't want. Now, obviously in times where you have like the opportunity to pull the Latias out of the deck, you do it, right? But obviously I'm starting to kind of a dead hand here. So there is no option. Sorry there, for, sorry there, Rick, if you're listening on headphones, uh, I could not control myself. Uh, milling the Latias on the first mill. Oh, that's so rough. But that's fine. Aladias is now in the Lost Zone. There is no saving, uh, no saving her. She is a goner, so that's fine. We can uh, we can rock it without the we can rock it without the Latias this time. We're gonna be just fine. We're gonna be a okay. We got Max Elixirs in deck, and sad thing also we also milled a Cynthia, <laughs> which uh, maybe we would have ended up getting, but. It's uh, it's all good. So I mean, it would have taken you two turns if you didn't tempest though, because you you flipped over the grass first. Right, right, right. So that's fine. You can definitely win without Latias, and in fact, in many games, you don't need to play Latias at all. I mean, if you hit enough of your max elixirs, if you are able to kind of be aggressive, you don't really need the Latias. You can kind of just rock without it. And just go in, take some mock outs, kind of stream your. Oh, I should say hello back. I realized I said hello to Attila Boy there, uh, you know, with my voice, but you know, he didn't really hear me. All right, let's uh, let's see. All right, so we've got Rayquaza GXs in deck. All right, very good, very good. All right, yep. Let's uh, let's do this thing. There's nothing to Brooklyn Hill for. Whom I can? We are simply going to slap that full stone there, and then we're gonna do this, and we are going to. Um, should I Guzma up? Yeah, I should like 
harass him a little bit. Yeah. Harass so, him. So let's there retreat we're... into here. Yeah. And then like Guzma up. Rock rock. Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. We're just gonna get. I don't know. Like I don't know. What if he misses blood stones? Eh. All right. We're gonna tempest DX. The rock rough probably would have been good, I guess, but he still could have taken a knockout on the active ray with it we're just gonna you know we're going for broke we're gonna say like we hope you just like miss everything all together so oh attila the hun is literally in the chat playing against me now no screen hacking attila the hun no screen hacking you can't don't look at my hand bro <laughs> uh that is pretty cool so attila got in there uh and is actually playing against me and is in the screen in the stream chat right now so that is super awesome but uh but no cheating attila no cheating focus on the game <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Attila was able to get his floatstone there, so that is super good for him. And then he is going to be able to kind of just apply a little bit more pressure here. Uh, yes, Latias is very, very important, but you don't always need it. You can definitely, I mean, I'd say Latias is probably like 50 50 in the game. It's like more important post rotation. It is sure. more, it is way more important post rotation but, but still, after you lose that. still stinks. Like, oh, yeah. You're like, you're not excited about it, but all right. We've got the Lycan Rock. The Lycan Rock does Lycan Rock get a hit off? It's going to get a, and it's bringing up this guy. I think like. Oh, and a Lele comes out. So what are we going for here? Probably a supporter just to draw some more cards. Now, it looks like Attila's kind of building his board position here. And, yep, getting a Sycamore. Building the board position. I suspect that this Rayquaza is getting poked by a Buzzwall. There is no sort of, you know, Diancie in play. No damage modifiers here. So... You know, what I'm going to be looking to do is just, uh, I really got no interest in knocking out this Buzzwall here. I'm going to see if I can, you know, ramp enough energy into play to take a knockout on AGX. I would really, uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> someone in the chat says, if you're not treating, you're not trying. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jason Impact, for the donation. Appreciate it, Jason. Thank you, thank you. Uh, very, very kind. Thank you, Jason. All right, we got another sledgehammer for 30, just going to soften that ray up. And we've got a big old hand full of just uh, energy here. So we do have an option to go get both our other rays, though. That's pretty much everything that we want. And then we do also have a Guzma in hand. Now, that would involve setting up a board where I don't really have a draw supporter, but, I mean, who cares? I've got one, two, three... <laughs> Four, five, six. So I can get six in play. That's 180 plus my Fury Belt. That's 190, yeah. enough to knock out the Buzzwall. Now we're going for Buzzwall this turn, uh, ladies and gentlemen. So let's uh, first of all. But then let's you you play. get knocked out by Lycan Rock. Um, let's see. I get knocked out by Lycan Rock. That's fine. We'll figure that out when we get there. I don't know. Like what are my I'll other options? Knock out Octillery. Knock out Octillery. You could do that. Just I with don't the, with that. Just with the little Guzma gang here. Mm hmm. I guess that seems actually kind of good. All right, that's fine. Let's just uh, let's just do that then. We'll slow our roll down a little bit, and I guess I mean yeah, uh, I guess. And then what? So we're doing one thirty. I can't just knock out the active right now, but I guess you just knock out the artillery first because you already have Guzma. But then I don't have Guzma the following turn. He'll probably poke me again with that. He's probably not taking a knockout. Yeah, let's just take out the artillery. That's fine. All right. Yeah, I mean, he wasn't going to take a knockout unless you went all in with the Rayquaza. Right, and going all in to take out a Buzzwell with no energy feels kind of bad. So, yeah. like, I think you're probably right. Yeah, we'll just do that. We'll drag and break for knockout on the Octillery. Then we can take another knockout Rayquaza sleeves. Oh, we got N, too, so that's pretty cool. Um, oh, I saved Guzma? Well, I didn't save the Guzma. I'm anticipating him putting up another non-EX. If he puts up a GX, then I'm just going to blow it up. Right. So, like, if he puts up, like, Lycanroc, and I don't think he can knock me out with Lycanroc, he can Claw Slash for quite a bit. He would have to Claw Slash for 190, though, which would be, like, he would a need, lot. like, Strong and Diancie and Choice Band, which, like, could... Uh, <laughs> you've put more thought into that turn than I've put into my entire life. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. See, so I see him going up with this Buzzwell here. That makes me think that either he's got, like, Guzma in hand to, like, claw slash this ray for knockout. And if he does do that, then I'm going to go probably all in and knock out his Lycanroc GX by benching a bunch of rays here, rescue stretcher for that ray back, and then in. And then uh, if he doesn't, if he just pokes me with this ray, then that's fine. I can uh, kind of just uh, take my odd prize, go back on to even prizes here, 
and then you know just try to take two more GX knockouts for game. Looks like he might be going for the Guzma play. Yeah, yeah. that's uh, that, that is what we're seeing here, and then that's actually. I think this is kind of like my ideal scenario. I will take this uh, like a rock. I think I can. I think I have. Yeah, yeah. I'm cool to take this like a rock because I'll end and then I'll probably be able to draw into a max elixir or something as well. So I also have rescue also stretcher have in my hand. I uh, just have everything in hand. Yeah. So this is like kind of fantastic. So we're gonna be you know pro plays about this and actually do this correctly. So we have two get energy. Other we got you got to get the other Rayquaza out of your deck it. first, <laughs> right? Yeah. So like this is what you do. You have to get the other Ray out of the deck first, right? Uh, this is what we would wished we would have done with the Latias, but there was no stopping it. We just had to go in. Uh, then we will, you know, we got the rescue stretcher and we grab that last ray from our discard pile, put it into our hand. So we have all three rays and we're about to go to Milltown, ladies and gentlemen. So let's, uh, let's just start discarding the top three cards of our deck. That's fine. All right. And we'll throw a grass energy onto the ray and then we're going to do it one more time. Yep. So let's, let's just get rid of three cards. Oof. A max elixir. Who cares? All right. Let's, uh, let's put another one there. And then one more time, not another Max Elixir, please. Yep, I know. <laughs> wow. That's fine. Wow, no, we're good. Only. We're good. I know. Uh, and we're going to throw another Grass there. And then I'm we're going also going to attach a Lightning Energy there and the Fury Belt there and the Float Stone there. Uh, and then yeah. we're going to end. All right. So I'm doing 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, You're 18, 21. I'm doing enough. Yep, 220. And we have a Max Elixir in Woo! our hand. And we have an Oranguru in our hand. So let's uh, let's tee off. Let's go. Let's do this. I have a Rangaroo. We'll bench. I mean, we're we're on even prizes with my opponent. So if they ever knock that out, it's kind of like you know that's their loss. So I think I'll just rip the Max Elixir here. See if we get it. We do. So that's beautiful. I'll slap that onto this non float stoned ray so that we don't have any liabilities in play. We have the one float stone. These two both are ready to attack, so I can just attach the energy from hand and be good to go there. And we are, uh, yeah, we're kind of in business, so we're good to go. I don't need to like mysterious treasure for anything here. I I'll just, hold that. I'm just gonna you hold can, it. Like, if he like misses a a B string, you could get a Guzma. Also, if I get With end. If I get end, having Mysterious Treasure in deck for my Lele is like definitely always good. So we don't oh, you're mind out that. Of Guzma. Uh, am I out of Guzma? Yeah. All four are gone? I milled them. Yes. Oh, that's this is fine. So <laughs> we have to just uh, uh, we just have to stay the course here. I could have played a pal pad at, I know auto auto ray is just uh, is very, very good. Yes, it's very good. So I uh, I could have played a pal pad as my last card there instead of the uh, the Parallel City, I do like. Uh, I do like Parallel City as a card. I also like Palpat as a card. I mean, the thing about one of cards in this deck is that like you'll probably just discard them. I found yeah. that with the Ray deck, unless you are playing a four of, you're probably not seeing it. Um, TBT Omar, I let him do it. Huh? I let him do it. Yeah. <laughs> sure, it's bad. Don't test it. Sure, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> just keep thinking. <laughs> yeah, people can just keep thinking that. Uh, yeah, it's uh, definitely with Shuckle. All right, I haven't heard anything about the Shuckle. Tell me about the Shuckle. What does Shuckle do? Yeah, who's that? Yeah, who is who Tell is me about he? Him. Tell me what he does, because I I am not familiar with the Shuckle guy yet. All right. So here's the way this game needs to go. Tell me about it. I think it's bad. I mean, because in a way, if he like, if he Ooh, just gets these two knockouts, if he gets this knockout, I'm in a bad spot. Right. So um, he. I mean, he can do it with that buzz, but he doesn't have to antsy down. He can so, do it with the GX, but not or can he? One sixty. Now he can do it with. The now GX. he can do it. He just retreats into it. Yeah. But he doesn't have a built-up knockout here on the bench. So like, so long as I get the knockout here, I'm actually fine. Right. Um, uh, because he had to. He just didn't have it. You know what I mean? Oh, he's, he's absorptioning for so it. So he's absorptioning for it. But that's fine because yeah. I have 190 here. Like, I'll just take that. Right. And then I can also uh, go get Lele. Let's see, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Since he absorption, you're going to take out his uh, his B string turn. And I don't think there's anything you might I don't think that there's any way he can it? respond. You have six He would have to, out. like, max elixir like a rock. You know, you can't. Just... Uh, he just absorptioned. Oh, so he's, like, he's out of plays here. Yeah. Uh, I think. Yeah, putting down a Lele seems bad. I think, Dumb, like, yeah, I has less hit points. Because he, uh, 
If he wouldn't have had to sw- to retreat the two energy for his swing around, he could he might be able to pull out something funny with swing around. Right. And get really lucky. But I. Think, but I don't think. I think it actually. I do feel like I still just like go get a lele for hand. Like he's just got a, a huge hand. He does. Does he have? An, he doesn't have two around. He does have. But I oh, mean, look is. how big yeah, his hand is. Big. Like you almost just you just do that anyway. So like you know you would have to have, um, you know Guzma and like a you know I don't know and would have to just be insane. So, like, I don't think he can do it. But we're going to end us both down low. Uh, I think we hope I hit, like, parallel. That would be insane. Um, that would be very good for me. I did, did we mill the parallel? Probably. That's what that's what happened. Yeah, we yeah. milled the parallel. That's what happens when you play one-up cards in this deck. So, like, I definitely don't suggest one-up cards. I will also put the float stone on my Oranguru here since oh, it's Shuckle the biggest Oh, Shuckle is a battle liability. compressor for energy. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's a what? Uh, it's, uh, it mills three energy when, when it's... When you bench it? I mean, yeah, I guess so. Oh, that's interesting. All right. Is that for a new set? Dragon new Break. Set? We hit 190 perfect here because of that Fighting Fury Belt, so super relevant numbers there. With Fighting Fury Belt, also a great thing about Fighting Fury Belt. And notice how I play four Acro Bike, but also, like, have not played one yet. <laughs> Just, like, that's how this deck is. Like, you might play four Oh, yeah, it's card. not out yet. It's in the... Um, the new Thunder Clap set. Um, right. So, uh, Dragon Majesty, I honestly, Sal, I just have not looked at League Dragon Cups Majesty are yet. Still yeah, League Cups are still going to be relevant. Comes, yeah. But yes, yeah, we should probably do that. Exactly. So, like, I will look into that. I'm just, like, one step at a time, right? Like, well, I don't want to, like, skip over people who want to take, like, next format decks to their league before that set comes out. It, you know what I'm saying? Like, there is, like, a whole... I kind of there's a period of time there before the set gets released where people are going to be looking to play these decks without uh, Dragon Majesty. So I didn't include that yet. But Rayquaza GX doing its thing here, and like I said, you might just play four of a card. You might just mill them all. Rayquaza is a deck that just wants to just uh, overwhelm the opponent and just get as many energies it can in play as possible and then just win the game as quickly as possible and what's funny is that's exactly what buzzwool tries to do but ray just also does it we both are trying to do the same thing i think that you know it's a toss-up like who does it better you know buzzwool definitely has some things going for it having lycan rock at your disposal having octillery at your disposal not discarding half your deck is also very good uh, but uh, that being said, Rayquaza, you know, kind of gets the numbers going and then doesn't look back, and it can be very, very scary uh, for them to do. What I mean, I don't think there's any way even to swing around two twenty. Yeah. It's just not happening. Yeah, two with two mixed mist elixirs as well. Uh, it's just, uh, it's just not. not <laughs> and Doc happen. says the deck would be busted if Trump card. Really trump legal. card really. That's a very good point. Yes. Oh man, Trump card. Dude, Trump card would be insane. Would you even be able? To, you would mill your Trump cards though. Then you wouldn't even be able to like find them. Yeah, but I mean, if you do hit it, it's yeah. pretty insane. I don't know if anybody played when the, that brief period where where Trump card was legal. If you got, if you did, it like got drag and brew. Um, where Trump card was legal with Toad and Shaman. That deck was insane. Oh, that deck was insane. Uh, I mean, like, no wonder they banned it. Dude, like, I watch the stream is just gross. Broken deck, bro. Raichu <laughs> Nine Tails was a broken deck. I finished that. So, like, that format, that standard format, only existed in like. Uh, it was the, like one regional. It or was so. one regional. Madison. It was Madison, and it was only for the Swiss rounds, right? Yeah, because then, then went, expanded. It was expanded day two. Yeah, yeah. So then it went to expanded day two, and it changed it, the format changed so like you know people argue you know, who had the best you know like you know trump card legal standard deck right. you know i think my deck was sweet i've been in, your I deck was like, didn't get banned so uh, yeah, i think it was trump card you know yeah. seismitoad is the most uh, broken one <laughs> i was in the uh i finished in like the top six seeds or something in that in at that regional um, with you, Raichu, you kind of butchered your deck day too. With though. Raichu Nine Tails, oh, I, w- I was very scared of Archaeops and like, <laughs> and I just butchered it. I just ruined the deck. I still finished top sixteen. Demo Table Man, oh, is this uh, Pablo? Oh, Demo, am I playing against Pablo now? Can anybody confirm me for me if this is uh, Pablo? Uh, if this is Pablo from Table Man, that would be super sick. That would be a lot of fun to get a little, a little. Uh, little competition going here between me and pablo super cool what's your deck list for ray i was thinking for acro bike as well i'm only at two uh my list for ray is actually constantly evolving we have two different ones right we, now i have two different ones sleeved up and this list that you're looking at here is different than both of them uh it's kind of 
So I have three lists right now. It's only one card off. Of the parallel, I actually don't even know what the 60th card is in the other one. I think it I might be know. a third Cynthia. But, like, I'm, I'm just working through the list right now. I think, like, it would be foolish to say that I have, like, the exact 60 cards. You want to test the deck, you know, kind of grind out your matchups, figure out, you know, what cards are necessary, what cards are not necessary, and all that. They're saying it is Am possible. I going first? Yeah. Uh, choose a Pokemon to be active. And who's going first? He's streaming it. But who's going first? All right. Pay, look at the log. I yeah. forget. Yeah. Look at the... I don't know. <laughs> I want to know who's going or first. Or don't look. <laughs> uh, go it, to the log. No. It, what? Go to this. Oh. And then it'll tell you if you scroll down. Oh, he's going first. But, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, no. You're going first. Oh, I'm going first. Okay. So this is... I was going to say, since if I'm going second, you want to start Ray, so you might be uh, like Tempest, you right. know? Yeah. But if you're going first, like, I don't mind a lot of yes. All right. So here we go. We need to do some things for your first. You, first, you want to acro bike. We're just going to acro bike, see what. All right, we pick acro bike again because we have rescue stretcher in hand. So then we acro bike again. And the hope is that we get an energy in the discard pile. There we go. We pick Guzma. So now we've got an energy in the discard pile. And that means that our ray is guaranteed to hit here. I think we have Latias in the active position already. We've got rescue stretcher in our hand in case we mill a ray. So I'm not actually going to use that ultra ball. I'm just going to just mill just right off the top. There's actually like a lot of thought that kind of goes into your like your mill plays. Like you kind of have to do the order of operations, right? And as you can see from not playing the um from not playing that uh that ultra ball, right? Or not getting rid of the rescue stretcher, I now milled array, right? So now I get to bring array back. Um yes, I would like to bring it into my hand, right? So we're going to bring that ray back. I don't have another uh, energy. I do have another energy in the discard pile. Great. So we will uh, just do that again. And I think maybe I ultra ball. I'm going to ultra ball Fury Belt and Guzma away. And I'm just going to go get another ray. And I'm just like going for three. Like we're just going to try to just like get set up as quickly as possible here. I'm actually not going to use this Max Elixir yet because I kind of want to hit uh, energies off of this. Um, uh, hello, Pablo. Yes, hello. Uh, hello. Let's say hello to Pablo. Hello, Pablo. Uh, and then I will try it one more time. This is like blind, Another right? Another one. We don't have an energy in the discard pile right now. We're just going to like kind of hope we hit it. And we might. I mean, we honestly, yeah, we did. Sweet. So like you just, you kind of just do in this deck. You, you do sometimes. So we, and we got another energy in the discard pile to boot. So that's really good. We've got another grass there. So we're really teeing off here, doing very well. And we need to be aware of the fact that we might get like paralleled as well, right? So like, we're not gonna spread our energy past these three rays for now. We're gonna try and keep things contained within our little zone here. And I'm not gonna slap down any of these tools. I don't really need to. I am gonna attach for turn though. I think I just want like, I want to spread my energy out a little bit. Uh, I'm probably just going to put one there. And then that way I have two, two energy rays, one that I can slap a float stone on eventually here. And then we're just going to pass to my opponent. So we're going to pass and that's it. I actually like Tate and Liza, Nate. So I think Tate and Liza is a pretty good card. I like that it's a shuffle draw and it's also a... Uh, a switch card, right? I think I love the options that you have there. It's definitely great for getting to choose between the two. And I think that the card gets better in a format where maybe Guzma doesn't exist. I think a lot of, you know, decks are going to already be running like three or four Guzma. So, I mean, uh, Nicholas, because I actually like having the acro bike in my deck. I didn't need anything else that turn, right? So you just keep the acro bike in your hand there because maybe you get end into it and it becomes meaningful later. The shop, maybe, the shop it doesn't do anything, does it? I don't think so. No. Like maybe I draw into the acro bike here and I get to like use acro bike for Guzma, right? To hit something. So like I just didn't really need it. So we didn't play it. I think here I just go like Sycamore and I just will like Dreamy Mist for a lot, you know, and just like do that. I don't really need to, I'm not gonna go in. He doesn't have any GXs in play yet. So I think I'm just going to mill first. Uh, we have one energy in the discard pile. So yeah, let's mill first um, and then see what we get. We're gonna accelerate and we're just like stunting here. Like I don't even need max elixirs. I don't care that I'm milling them. 
Nobody cares. I already have, what, no energy in the discard pile. So this is a little bit of a greedy play if I sick more without attaching the energy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight more energy in deck. Oh yeah, like we can do it. Let's see what we end up getting here. We want just an energy and we got it. We've got three, right? You kind of just like start to learn the deck and know like what you can, what you can finagle, what you can't. I want to get another energy into the discard pile, so I have three. That way I'll be able to accelerate three energies. So we'll Mysterious Treasure away. A Lightning Energy there, and we're going to get the Tapu Lele. I think I just go ahead and Lele for a supporter as well, so that I can just have a supporter in my hand before, you know, if he parallels me. That would be pretty good to have. I also have Rescue Stretcher at my disposal. Um, I think, um, actually, yeah, let's, sure. I actually only really want Guzma is like all I really want. So like, I don't actually need anything else. At this point, I want him to just like start putting EXs or GXs into play and then I will just knock them out. And that's just all I'm going to do for the next like three turns here. I will also just put a floatstone down just to have one down, and then I'll Dreaming Mist. So now we are accelerating. We got three energies to accelerate. Now we are th expecting that, we're kind of trying to anticipate that parallel incoming. So we're gonna do here, here, and here. And if we have to knock off like the <laughs> Lele and the one energy ray, we'll do it. But we're kind of like set up and ready to go now. I don't really see how Zorark decks really compete with this. They don't play much of anything, if anything at all, that can knock out a Rayquaza GX. There is that like Sylveon EX that is viable, right? Uh, I mean, some people are playing that with Choice Band, and you could throw a Sylveon with a Choice Band in the deck to get a cheap one shot on a Ray. But the thing is, if you come up with a Sylveon GX and hit me, with a choice banded, uh, you know, Sylveon, like uh, you're just gonna get return knocked out as well. So there's really not a lot of great options to deal with this. Bennett's pretty cool though. Cool. Bennett's cool is and cool. Right now. <laughs> yeah, Bennett is definitely cool. It's just, uh, you know, the Rays are just, uh, I mean, the Rays are out here right now. They are, they're definitely out here doing their thing. So let's see, I have three Max Elixir burned. I mean, I think I milled two of them and that's just kind of how this deck goes though. You just get, um, you know, you just get your your things milled, and it doesn't matter. I mean, you just kind of like barbarically just barrel through your deck and just uh, and just just make it work, right? You just get the energy into play, however you need to get it into play. Maybe you play Max Elixirs, maybe you use Latias. Between the two, you're going to have plenty of options. You definitely use your ability as well. Now, I'm not sure, okay, I was gonna say, I don't know, is Pablo playing like Worlds Format? And yes, he is. He does have a Float Stone there, so I see that he's definitely playing Worlds Format. Also, the, the end turn one, yeah, 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 okay. Because uh, I was gonna say, I don't think that Pablo would be rolling in with like next format decks right now on PTCGO. Just wanted to make sure that this is a uh, it is a world's deck. Uh, Poker Jedi. I've actually found that you know Trash Lands Carvador. You can you can manage it. You just don't go in like this, right? Nick? You just uh, you don't go in quite like that. Oh, he's playing just barreling split through of the your deck. Can you can you click on the one with the tongue the one out? confuses the and one, one has the, sixty hit points. Can I see the one with the tongue out? And click on it it for confuses. Me. Yeah. It confuses. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. I'll so like HP, that's though. why I was like, yeah, we were pulling cards out of the bulk out of the three boxes, and I was like, which one is the, uh, you know, which one is the play? And I think like it's just uh, they're both good, right? So Pablo is playing both there. Uh, here we definitely go for the clean Zorark, and there are just no questions about that. So we're gonna go in and Guzma the clean Zorark here, bring up our Ray, and you know at this point we've got three Rays built up, and we don't play any cards. We just are looking to not mill myself. We need to just not deck out 330 <laughs> damage. There he goes. Uh, yes. Woo! So very very good. And there's my other Max Elixir and another Energy. From this point on, we just manually attach and, you know, stay the course. And with this you deck, cards in deck, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. We just manually attach and stay the course. We do not play that Sycamore at all. I've definitely accidentally decked on TCGO. Oh, you, all the time. Yeah, right, so. because you don't have the physical deck there to right. look at. You just have, like, a you have to put, you know, your little 
clicker next to it, or down here in the corner is the number. The number is not nearly as scary as uh, you know as the actual you know actually seeing one card left in your deck. Now, unfortunately, as cool as I think Zorak Bennett is, the deck just can't keep up with Rayquaza. For Worlds format, I mean, it just uh, it just it just can't, right? So. You need to play. Does Hoopa come back with Ray in the mix? Uh, Tanner, yeah. Potentially. Uh, Hoopa, Hoopa, not good for Ray. No, Hoopa, Hoopa is not good for Ray. Yeah, your Latias is, uh, is not going to. Yeah, but Buzzrock uh, plays just so many, and Buzzrock is still just a really good deck. So I think that, you know, it's, uh, yes, Hoopa is good versus Ray, but it's not good versus some other decks. Like even Guardi, which I expect Guardi to get better. And Guardi just doesn't, you know, Guardi also kind of disposes of Hoopa pretty easily. Why is Bonnet good? Uh, I think Bonnet is just like kind of cool. It hits Buzzwell for weakness, right? So it's like a Zorark deck that has a built in Buzzwell counter. But I mean, we haven't even seen a Bonnet yet uh, from, from Pablo. You know, oh, here he comes. So like we've got the Bonnet out, right? And so they can move damage counters around. You know, he's going to move. He's got rainbow energies in there too. So his thought process is, is that he's putting the rainbows on the banette. He's going to shady move it over, right? So here goes the Latias. The Latias is going down, right? I have to imagine that Pablo is just going to take out the Latias. But, oh, uh, what's up, Mimikyu? Uh, no, not taking out the Latias. Because at this point, like, he needs to take three GX knockouts, and that Latias doesn't help him there at all. So it's not really, uh, not really super good there. Uh, I had uh, kind of saved this. Uh, how many Guzma do I have down? Is he gonna? All yeah, of them. All of them. He's <laughs> gonna, he's gonna try and deck me. That's fine. I just, will just retreat here, and uh, let's just uh, retreat. Escape Ooh. into oh, nice. the other one with anyway. the Bloodstone, and let's just do that. So we'll just drag and break this way. All right, that's fine. So. Uh, that's, do you uh, have like an end left or anything? I have rescue stretcher. Okay. I might have an end left. Can you click on your? Let's see. For me? I have. Mm, you do one if end it's left. not prized. I have one one end at large, also two Cynthia or also a Cynthia which is in my hand. So like the Cynthia will save me too because right. I just like I'm not really gonna play cards down. So we we do have Oranguru to help with Hoopa. Uh, it doesn't really get there though. Not, no, versus not a, dedi a dedicated Hoopa deck. <laughs> not a dedicated Hoopa deck. It might knock out a Hoopa or two in a deck that, you know, might also play, uh, you know, play Hoopa. Rocket's handiwork, yes, uh, yes, could be a thing, you know, definitely. I think the pal pad, man, I think we... I'd be sweating. That'd be, like, almost as good of a, um, like, almost as funny of a loss as uh, right. being... I think you know, though, like, if your opponent plays, like, handiwork you just be more careful you know like you just this deck can go and get to its bottom four cards and then just like not play anything and go knock out knock out knock out and then win with one card left in deck right. like that happens all the time but you also can just not do that right like you can just play less cards you could be less aggressive you don't need to go in and like just destroy your deck like that. Though it is a uh, it is fun versus Zorark deck. I was like, yeah, we're gonna dig. We're gonna get our energy in play very quick because Zorark can just like go turn two and just start hitting like you know 120, 120, and can be very annoying to deal with if you um, if you don't like kind of get going quickly. If you're kind of just like messing around only have a few energy in play, like they can trade with you early on. So you want to kind of build up that energy relatively quick without like totally milling yourself because Zorark is a deck that with Puzzle of Time could use Rocket's Handiwork. Like they might, that might be their last line of defense against a Rayquaza deck is to Rocket's Handiwork and just hope it buffs out. So as a Rayquaza deck, you need to be a, 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 a responsible. responsible. <laughs> you need to be a responsible Ray player. That's you why need to play, is so pretty. You need to play enough shuffle like draw colors. cards. You can't just play four Sycamore and just be like, I'm fine. You can't. Some people are like, I don't need N. Yes, you do. Play N, please. Uh, you know, you don't want to deck yourself. So just don't do that to yourself. All right, Shady Moves is going to get me next turn. We know this. So that's a little bit frustrating, but I think I just uh, I think I just attack with the active. Don't accidentally tempest, please be careful. No, yeah, yeah, that's a that's a game losing <laughs> scenario there if I ever saw one. So. Whoops. 
Yeah, we're just going to hit that thing in the active. Now, Pablo does get to do something cool here. Oh, yeah, Cody rewatched Andrew's win from a 2015 regional yesterday. Man, he's old. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, what, 2018, almost 2019 now? Yeah, I mean, that was... Uh, Only a few years ago. It was ago. three years ago, and that was, like, three years into me playing the game. So, like, I've been playing for, like, six years. So it's about, you know, about that. Maybe six, maybe... Uh, I think this winter might be seven years. I've been playing since, like, 2012. So, yeah, in January, it'll be seven years. Uh, but I started off very, very bad. Like, I just had no idea what I was doing. We were so. all bad. We were Kuroku all bad. Kuroku Gaming. You bought out the raids, didn't you? I think we bought the raids. We bought the raid classes out. I bought them out, yes. Yeah, so sorry. <laughs> Darium's had, like, you know, like, a ton of raids. And apparently they sold 10 to somebody else, and then I swooped by and just, like, you know, bought six. So that was awesome. Uh, how do you get around the Mime GXs? Well, with Fury Belt... And the attack, we can hit even numbers or odd numbers or whatever odd in the numbers. world we need to hit. Yeah, we can hit what we need to hit. I think Ray just hits e uh, odd numbers, though. So, yeah, because it's multiples of three. So, three, six, nine, 12, 15, right? So, like, 18, 21. You can hit odd or even numbers versus mime. So, it's not a big deal. So, what? He took the ability. He took that with the ability, right? Yeah. yeah, I mean, like, let's not play ourselves here. I think, like, we just promote that. I mean, like, I don't know. Maybe he's got some secret sauce. We're going to promote the Latias. Whatever. Attack my Latias. And then, you know, I don't really see how he's going to make anything. Oh, he's got Guzma. All right. He brings up my one and then is going for a stall. Right. So <clears throat> I think that's got to be what he does, right? He goes for stall here. I think... I can manually attach from my hand to the active, and then if I have one more energy left in deck, I can make it work. I also have, yeah, my third floodstone. All right, so he kind of sees his out here. He's like, this is what I got to do. And you should have energy in deck, right? I should have energy in deck. But Clap, I, let me see your discard. Let's see. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> I think I only saw eight three in play. In 9, 10, 11. Yes, yeah, so I have 12, plenty of energy. I, yeah. Plenty of energy in deck. I'll just attach to the active, and then the following turn, you know, if you I... be able to subdue. I mean, because even if he takes this knockout, he's not taking four prizes in one turn. That's just, like, right. not going to happen. So I think at this point, I will just start... Yeah, like, this is fine. We're going to... Oh, I have parallel. That's cool. I don't need that fury belt for anything. Um, so we're just going to get rid of that. Oh, thank you, Light and L, for the donation. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, very, very kind of you. Thank you. Uh, we are rolling through here. Yeah, no targets there, but we are just trying to, like, thin our deck. We don't want to get, like, bamboozled here. So let's just... Uh, I think I parallel off my own Tapu Lele, actually, uh, to try and make it so that I have nothing that can be stalled. <clears throat> so I am going to get rid of that Tapu Lele there. Yeah, that's um, pretty good. And then I think I play the Max Elixir, actually. Do you? Yeah. Well, yeah, well, because he's about to take out... Well, like, he, he could end... I guess he could... Uh, he, he, could he could put me to 180 damage. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right, yeah, okay. Which is, like, not what we want. So we need to, like, hit that. And we're going to put that onto here. All right, so we just need to, like, stay kind of in the clear as far as our energy goes. And then we're not going to Cynthia just in case no. he does play, like, in case he does play, uh, you know, uh, handiwork or anything like that. We're just going to pass right there. And now we are in a pretty good situation. So, like, he's going to probably, you know, I mean, he could knock out the Latias. I feel like he kind of has to to take some energy away. He has to also bring up the Zork there to try and kind of force, you know, me to hit more numbers, I think. I don't, Three, six, nine, I 12. you have it on I board. think I just have it. I don't think there's anything he can do. I think, like, me removing the Lele means that, like, I've taken away the stall option again. It's just not happening. Uh, yes, Samson, we did uh, both get our world's invite this year, so thank you. Uh, we did. And we're both training, not training, but testing. We're both training. training. We're training really hard for the world championships. <laughs> we're both testing a lot, a lot for the world championships. So we're uh, we're working on that. And you guys are kind of seeing a little bit of that right now. You know, Ray is a, a deck that we're working on. We're also working on Guardi, Buzzwall. 
Uh, also working on, you know, some Hoopa stuff. You know, I don't, flare Grunt wouldn't do stuff. it, Otto. Oh, if you Flare Grunt to me oh, right I now? Oh, I guess it's to, re- yeah, to stall you out. I don't, I think, even You'd then. have to Flare Grunt a lot. Yeah. Yeah, because I have, like, multiple energy in deck still. So he could win that way. I mean, that would that would have to be, it would have to be just, like, flare repeated Flare Grunt, I guess. Yeah, he's taking out the Lottie House here. That would be a tough way to lose, not going to lie. Like, I wouldn't be, you know, really excited about that, but that's, uh, you know, that's fine. <laughs> that would not be my favorite way. There is just, it's tough, man. Rayquaza's got a big old retreat cost. He does. But they can't, he would have to stall me out. He can't, he would have to flare ground without, like, doing damage because, like, you know, he would have to also, like, not ever knock this thing out. How many peaking red cards are you going to put in this? Probably none. Yeah, probably done on the... Oh, that's Dallas. Oh, that Dallas. That's uh, your Dallas that I played at the NAIC. So what's up, Dallas, in the chat? Uh, that's, uh, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, he ain't got it like that. So we've got a uh, retreat. We actually have to retreat because 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. Yeah, so we've got it here on the retreat. And then 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. Good game to Pablo there. Definitely hard fought. Uh, oh, no, my Wi-Fi is starting to go. Yeah, don't go, not now, like, <laughs> uh, not now, so very good. We were ever able to beat Pablo's deck there, super cool, and shout out to Pablo, awesome, a uh, an awesome YouTuber himself at Tablemon, I'm sure, you know, pretty much all of you guys have probably seen his channel as well, and, uh, you know, I've been sitting down for like, uh, yeah, for like over two hours, so we're going to rock one more game here on PTCGO with Ray, and then we're going to call it a stream, we're going to call it quits, but uh, that's it, we're going to give Ray one more ride here, see what we can do with the brand new Rayquaza GX deck here on PTCGO, and uh, and yeah, so that's uh, this is that, a couple, you know, inclusions we're thinking about here, you know, we're thinking about my wife being shaky, might not even make it through this last game here, I don't know why the Wi-Fi is being weird, but you know, Ray definitely proving itself to be a force to be reckoned with in the upcoming stand in the current standard format, and then also uh, potentially next year. I think it does lose a lot. It says that I'm offline, so that might be it, guys. There might be a server problem. Or... Might be server issues. Might just not be working. It's uh, yeah, we barely finished that last game there. Yeah, it looks like we're getting uh, we're getting booted off. So. That's a kind of good segue here for the stream, I think. I think we're just going to call it a day. Server having issues, not uh, not too surprised there. Since uh, it is a brand new set that just came out, uh, fortunately I was able to show off that brand new Rayquaza GX deck there a little bit. And I just want to do major shout out to everybody who donated during the stream. Major shout out to my Patreon subs. Uh, I got a whole bunch of giveaways that were given away. Here, I uh, posted the War Turtle uh, exclusive Patreon video not too long ago, just a stream few froze. days ago. Oh, so, stream is offline. Okay. Yeah, so anyways, uh, hope you guys all have a great day. I got to check and see what's going on with my internet. And, uh, you know, make sure to like the video, sub the channel, and ring that bell. Thank you all for watching. Peace.